剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，剧场，
there would need would be no future. Yeah, I'm fine with uh, that. I'm not going to live for the future anyway. It's very selfish of me to think that way. Does the Palumbo name end with you? <laughs> it does because my the only. By the way, Garrett, what a horrible name anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> That's a strong city. name. Nah, All no, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, the That's the a strong only... TZ in there. Yours is just <laughs> like a um, Palumbo. <laughs> no, yeah. The Her only... name is like a, a it's like a speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> The only um, person that was able to carry the name, unfortunately, is not able to have children. So it's it's done. It's over. Wait a minute. You have a male Palumbo. Mm -hmm. For what what reason is he the was male... in a in a bad car accident and he is um, <laughs> he's paralyzed. Yeah, it's, it's not, not funny. funny. Oh, he's paralyzed. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. So the Palumbo the, the Palumbo name dies with us. I had an uncle who in World War Two. Palumbo. <laughs> He's such an idiot. In, Garrett, in, in World War II, I had an uncle who sat on a can opener or something. What? And they couldn't have kids. And <laughs> and he See, would say funny. stuff. That's funny, not being paralyzed. He would say stuff, you know. And um, it was it was a an aunt that married a guy and they couldn't have kids or whatever. And he had sat on a, on a can opener or something. And the other uncles who were not his, you know, blood relatives would go, yeah, he probably got hurt in a fucking whorehouse in France. <laughs> <laughs> I think a hand grenade went off when he was fucking a whore. They'd all laugh. All my uncles would start laughing. <laughs> so you have, oh, that's sad. And and he doesn't have any um, <clears throat> feeling uh, from the waist down, so he's unable to uh, raise the uh, the flag of the Palumbo name. Is that correct? He can't raise the Palumbo flag? Mm, well, he can raise What would that flag have on feet. it? What would the flag? If you look back at your family, what would the Palumbo flag have as you, as you wrote, almost like mm -hmm. you know Joan of Arc, who didn't have any children and didn't want any? Yeah. If you were Joan of Palumbo, uh, what what would your flag look like? Pizza, tears. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, what um, what? Well, I don't. When I, you look back at your family and you were putting a flag together, what would it be? Well, both of my grandparents that were off the boat, they were tailors, so it would have something to do with clothing right it would have a needle and thread right needle and thread. that's kind of interesting mm -hmm. it would look like a snake it would be the needle and then the little squiggle of thread right it would look like a snake so that would be off to one side mm -hmm. and and um, that would show the tailors and what else would it show uh my other grandfather he yeah. owned a fruit store so maybe some you yeah. know bananas or something <laughs> you know well <laughs> and then there should be a guy flipping you know flipping pizzas and burgers at the God, same time. God, that may be the saddest flag ever. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. You might just you like storm a Burger King with that flag. I don't know that you'd ever really go Where into battle. Where else would I storm a flag? Obviously, you mean there's no Burger lion? King. There's no, like, a dragon that would come or a, you know, I don't know what. A lion? What kind of people do you think we are? We're very quiet. You've never had a relative who was brave in war or oh, or yeah, was smart or yeah, my, PhD well, in, my in mathematics. Well, my one grandfather he fought for Mussolini, so that, there we go. And then the other oh, one fought against. So, so wait a minute, they would probably the be fighting each other. You'd have the American flag upside down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The sign of Garrett? I think that that's the sign of surrender or something. No, I, it's trouble, isn't it? Isn't it if they're? If, it's if bad. I know trouble? that. It's it's not good at all. It's beyond bad thing, yeah. when the flag is upside down. You had an, uh, he fought for Mussolini. Yeah. So you'd have a, a first of all a a pick. You'd have a a needle and thread, mm -hmm. a grapefruit, um, and you, then you'd have a a guy in an Italian army outfit with his hands up. Yes. Surrendering. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it may be best that the Palumbo name die with you. It may be best. Well, that's yes. what I figured. <clears throat> You know, there are no other uh, boy Palumbos in other families. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are, but I don't I, you know, you know how like Italian families, they stop talking to each other. They have like this big standoff over something really stupid. Like you didn't invite my kid to the wedding. You know what I mean? You so, mean, like, you mean fight fighting forever. for Mussolini isn't <laughs> enough to cause a, a rift. Right. You mean, you know, uh, we had a, a, a friend and she was very Jewish. And she was like in her fifties, and she had like six or seven husbands. And her last husband was about a twenty-five-year-old German guy that the United States government thought that she was trying to, um, you know, help get a green card. But they really 
fell in love. Mm -hmm. She was 20 something years older. Maybe she was 45 or whatever. She went to Germany to visit his f family right. to introduce himself, herself. And on their mantelpiece, they had their grandfather, whose name was Adolf, in a oh, Nazi man. uniform. Yeah, the picture of him from the Second World War with the SS on his, on his collar. They spent thousands of dollars. <clears throat> they got married. They fought against the United States government. They did everything they could to get him a green card. And they finally got it. They broke up. He gave the green card back and moved back to Germany. <laughs> Once the battle was over, I guess they had something to fight for together. Right. I don't know. Once the battle so was over, that was it. End. But Adolf was there. Now, Garrett, the Andritz flag. What would the? I don't know anything about your ancestors, but it's kind of a Germanic name. What would the Andritz flag have on running it? You may be the leader of your family. Running over a cat. <laughs> a man aiming a car at a cat. <laughs> um, a woman, a woman, a cuck holding her husband would be on the other side <laughs> of the flag. It's one of my favorites. <clears throat> and down the middle, down the middle, what what would be the Andritz something in your in your past? What would it be? How do you draw no emotions? <laughs> You would have a picture of Carl Jung, the um, famous therapist. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. Huh? J U N G. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you'd have him in the middle. And people would go, Who's that? Oh, that's Carl, Carl Jung. What? Yeah, he would have had to find out what was wrong with my family. We, we needed therapy. It's so funny. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but um, we, you know, my dad was from uh, Texas and. He drilled oil wells, and he, you know, was a big Navy guy, fought in the Second World War, you know. And so we made this, um, I mean, he actually went and before there was online and everything, he went and had a, a, we had a flag made, like a coat of arms. We had that with our family from Scotland. My dad was uh, uh, Scottish and Germanic or whatever, but, but yeah, he had like an anchor on it, and... Um, Let's see, there was an anchor, and he didn't have any oil stuff on it. It was about his ancestors. But I, the anchor was prominent. There might have been a snake wrapping around the anchor that shows that maybe there was a doctor in the family. Or that or a snake, or one of those snake people, Garrett, that worship the snakes. <laughs> you know, and said, if the snake bites me, let me die, it's yeah, God's yeah, yeah. will. If I went to one of those, I'd be yelling for the snake to bite the person. Please. Please bite him. If there is a God, let him bite this man. Let him bite this man. Ira the Weatherman is on line two. I have no idea why. Um, <clears throat> yes, Ira, go ahead. Hello, Jay. What the hell? What the thing about? I have to say to you, Jay. Yeah. The show last Thursday... You're number one. Your children are number one. Right. And your whole family are number one. My entire, the entire group. You know what, Garrett? Uh, to the Thomas flag, we have to add the number one. <laughs> <laughs> you are add. number Your whole family is number yeah. one. Jesus. Now, if you were making a flag, the, Ira, the Hershaft family flag, look back now, Ira. And think about your ancestors, your great grandfather, your grandfather, all the stories you heard uh, at your dad and mom's knee. What would be on your coat of arms, your your flag that you would take into the battles of life? What would be on the Hershaft flag? Battles of life, number one. Number one. No, no, no. Your family was number one, also. That is right. <laughs> That's like a friend of mine was being complimented after a play once, Garrett, and a guy came up to him and said, oh, my God, magnificent, 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 magnificent. And the guy was so excited. And then he saw him walk up to like a like a, 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 a post office box and go, magnificent, magnificent, <laughs> magnificent, magnificent. Like the Seinfeld episode. Yeah, with the, oh, when the, the baby. Bre yes. Breathtaking. Well, breathtaking. Let yeah. me tell you one thing, Jay. Yes. Everything was terrific. Right, you know what? Thursday, that's that's whole over. Show, I I, yeah. I rated that show really really great. Thank you. The, he's talking about somewhere with you. Yes, and Broadway producers are talking to them, and they all this kind of stuff. So it's going to be fine. But that was last week. 
We've now moved Whenever on. Whenever Christina wants to see Pippins. Oh, you guys are going together? Bones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going. Yeah, go to that. Uh, Ira, thank you very much. Are you coming uh, in today, Ira? No, he's not. Oh. No. I'll do it tomorrow. Hmm. He was very All upset right. because nobody <clears throat> told him about yesterday. Yeah. I called him and told him. No, you never called me. We talked on the phone yesterday. All right. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Thank you, Ira. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. You almost came out of character there, didn't you? Many people go, is that a character? Yes, it is. That's a person that we pay, and he acts like that idiot. Uh, uh, Mitch Vitell will be here in a few moments. Mitch has been on the show before. And, you know, very funny guy. And then... Um, Mitch meets a, a, what, a, a woman that likes to do women and, and, and he makes it a part of his life and he has a, um, a, a TV, you know, like a reality show and everything. And it's. <clears throat> Wait, I don't, no, he doesn't have a reality show. He tried but, to. I think he filmed one, but then I don't know what happened to it. Oh, no one went for it. it he might be still trying to sell it. <clears throat> Cause it's about you mean no one wanted a show about a guy who's with a woman who, I mean, he's really married to her, and they would want to show all of this, and she likes to have sex with more than one man and all that, or women or whatever. No one, I, I think, um, I thought I read that in the notes. Am I wrong? Yeah, no, wrong. He, he says his reality show is about the power of marriage and how much he loved it and how his wife has made him a better person. And he got that example from Duck Dynasty. <clears throat> <laughs> he got the example of the perverted marriage that he has from Duck Dynasty. He says one of the reasons Duck Dynasty works so well is it showed strong marriages. I wonder if in one of his perversions he would have the wife uh, put a duck call up her ass and blow a couple of tunes. <laughs> See if any mallards I'd watch that. <laughs> See if any mallards land in her tits. <laughs> I don't even need duck calls in my ass. They just make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> he was an intern at Howard Stern. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he went to NYU. Um, he's um, unbelievable. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. My lovely wife just came in. Oh. I have to fast. I have a exam tomorrow, and I can't have any carbohydrates or sugars. You know how difficult that is? I can't imagine. For 20... For 24 hours, because they're they're putting in some isotopes in me and stuff. What did she and give you? <clears throat> she brought me a huge um, thing of nuts and some cheese because you know I don't know if you know this or not, but my my wife, who is a lot of things, also has a master's degree in um, in chemistry and nutrition, huh? but then never practiced any of it. I wanted when I married her. I wanted her to become a doctor. See, I would like to live vicariously through my mate. When people talk about marriage, I enjoyed that she was a big deal at Saks Fifth Avenue. I like that. I like to go and say, "They go, what do you do?" Well, I, you know, radio guy and announcer and all that, and an actor. And what about your wife? Oh, vice president, Saks Fifth Avenue. I like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You know. So what do you say now, now, now when they ask <clears throat> what your wife does and who she is? I say what what Garrett is homemaker. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> she's an artist. She's an interior designer. You know, and just a heck of a mom. Oh, you know? what a red you know what she is, Garrett. She's my lover, my friend, soulmate, <laughs> soulmate. I, 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 you know what? I would make her my muse, but she hates everything I think of. <laughs> you know what these guys go? You know, till I met Clarissa, I didn't have my muse. I will come in and think of the funniest or most interesting things you can think of, and I will, you know, proffer them to my wife. Met with absolute derision and mostly silence. So she's not amused. Isn't that weird? I feel, you know what's sad? I feel sorry for her. Look what she missed. Because when I think of something, I go, hey, I got an idea. 
this was like 17 years ago. I'm going to go on the David Letterman, you know, late show with David Letterman. And I'm going to tell the same joke over and over again for almost two decades. And I'm going to throw a football and knock a meatball off a Christmas tree. And you know what she said? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. She said that to me. Now look. She can't be a part of it. When I do my one-man show, the guy that knocked the meatball off the Christmas tree, that's my new thing yeah. now, no more book, no more book. You know how hard it is to write a book, Garrett? Really hard. Nine pages I got, not nine pages. Oh. And it was over. I told the whole story in nine pages. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't get the rights to any pictures of he and I together. They wouldn't, <laughs> CBS wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> uh, let's go to Dominic of New York. <clears throat> yes, Dominic, go ahead. Uh, Dominic, have you run across any Palumbos in your There's day? There's a lot of Palumbos around here. Yeah, there are. That name is going to live forever, isn't it? Palumbo, the one that sounds like uh, people is. going over a, uh, it's, it's when you're about to belch and you go over a, uh, a speed bump and you go, well, blah, 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 like that. <laughs> you know, you know what it sounds like? makes when there's too much carbohydration, carbohydrate. You know, you know when you sense? fart and, and the, wait, the, the fart has a bubble to it. There's a bubble to it, and when it, it's not a real bubble. It must it's got some sort of an air bubble, but it kind of blows the bubble and goes boom like that. So it's like it's like a, it's like a talking fart kind of. My son went to the junior prom with the plumbo. Oh really? Really? What was I bet the first he had one? a great time. It had an awesome time. What was, yeah, the, what was time the first guy's name? Uh, wait a second. Tony, Nick, My Dino. Son. Was it Dino? No, his son went with a female. Oh, Columbo. I'm sorry. Oh, with a woman? What was a her girl name? Columbo? Marie? No, yeah. Uh, Tonetta? <laughs> was it Tonetta? Angelina? Um, yeah. Actually, it was Simone. Ooh. Fancy. Wow. You know what? She must be adopted. On no, their flag, they actually have a picture of a book, which is shocking for a Palumbo. <laughs> Come on. Now, did he, he get says laid? that, but, you know. Did your son get laid? I... I don't think so, but I'm hoping he did. You know, the only reason why I ask questions like that is because I know how um, famous and how it worked for Howard. And that's the only people always go, why do you do That's the only reason. I, I was just not a guy that got laid or tried to get laid. I mean, I guess I made out or whatever. In my, but I think we stayed out all night and there hey, were people like this. Well, no, maybe not in the junior no. prom. The senior prom, though, we stayed out all night, but yeah. I, nobody, nobody, I, not not in my group. No one got naked. Maybe they went off in a room alone or something. But you not know. at junior prom. Senior prom, yeah, that was kind of fun. <laughs> really, you got laid in the, in the senior prom? Yeah. <clears throat> really? Didn't. No, I didn't even come close. <laughs> no, I tried to get my girlfriend in high school to to touch my penis. And she started crying in the car. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I've had that happen before too. <laughs> I got her, I got her hand, and I had her rub the outside of my pants. And then, and then when I tried to get her to touch the skin of the penis, she just started crying. I felt awful. Oh man, if that know. was now, you would have been a rapist. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not when you're guiding their hand to show them how to do it. Guiding. I was a guide. <laughs> what are those people that and you go to, to your that right, help you? You'll find my right testicle. Yeah. <laughs> you mean like a, uh, like going to Universal Studios yes. when you're looking left and right? And to the left, Door my bus. yeah, to the left, my left testicle, and to the right, the my this right side of my penis. And if you go all the way down, my scrotum is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Does Christina have any relatives in upstate New York? Uh, not yeah. that I know of. No. She has one in a wheelchair who's yeah. unable to um, procreate. You know, nothing. Can he masturbate? Can he do anything? Yeah, he can use his arms, but I don't know what. I don't know the condition of his penis. I don't. I mean, I would assume. So he might know. be able to have a kid then. I guess he. I don't know. I feel like. Mm, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe, R rub maybe, up on maybe, one day. ew, Garrett, that's how you know, that's your a family, I, you not know my what? family. You call me up and you go, my cousin and his friends are all in wheelchairs and they go out and they're yeah. good looking and, and women like them and all. And I go, well, you know, go send me a video, get a, you know, get your telephone, get a GoPro, mm -hmm. get anything, get a video. Whatever happened to that? I mean, I'm not there to babysit, so it didn't, 
It didn't come to fruition. They don't want to be on TV to four cripple guys. Idea, my idea that I asked your opinion about, and then I it was a great it idea. On. Thank you. I thought so too. You know what? You know what we call the name. You know what the name of the show is here? Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah, I got the name of it. About four hot crippled guys. Mm -hmm. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. I love it. This week on Hot Wheels. Right. I prefer them as handy capable, not crippled. <laughs> no, no. Jay, handy let's go capable. fishing sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh. Thomas would have either been 76, <laughs> 69, or 58. <clears throat> His body was found no more than 48 yards from the boat itself. What sort of boat do you have, Dominic? 21-foot uh, <clears throat> four winds. Be you and I together in that thing? That, uh, I don't want to be with another no, person. No, we want to go with your brother. We, we oh, no, you got to go to Louisiana. He never <laughs> listens. He never listens. He never leaves Louisiana. You'd have to come down with us. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money, though. Yeah. Because he's a charter captain. That's only money, you know. Yeah, okay, great. All right, Dominic. <clears throat> Thank hey, you. Christina sounds a lot hotter in person. <clears throat> she sounds a lot hotter in person. When, 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 how are you met her? On the phone, in person. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I mean, she's gorgeous. I wish I was 30 years younger, but... Hold on a second. She sounds a lot hotter... I'm not sure what we're talking about here. There's the telephone, and then there's the radio, and it's what she does. So which one are you talking about? On the phone, she sounds really good. On the, but on not the on the radio. Sounds, on the radio, she sounds really good, but on the phone, she sounds even better. All right. All right. Thanks. Like I said, well, we have a guy here who still masturbates, I can tell you that. Oh, right. yeah. At least twice a day. Oh, wow. That's a lot. All right, Dominic. Thank you. He pulls his Palumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, there won't be any children. The Palumbo name will just become like a part of the human body. <laughs> what happened to the Palumbos? They became penises. What's you the know? name of my penis? Hey, what's the top of that where a woman comes, a little, that little thing? Oh, you mean the Palumbo? <laughs> <laughs> I would be all yeah. for this. Yeah, you, yeah, the clip becomes the Palumbo and the penis becomes the Palumbo. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Cujo. From Toledo. Wow. Wow. Yes, Cujo of Toledo. Mitch Vitell, uh, really a terrific comic. And then, I mean, his lifestyle is wild. I mean, and, you know, he's really selling this, you know, bisexual thing. It's been going on for a while. And he and the but wife yeah, he, and everything. He used yeah, to, but, uh, Howard gave him a show, like, a, you know, a couple uh, hour long shows on uh, Howard 101 where he and his girlfriend or whatever wife now would come in and they just talk about their sex life and swinging and stuff and it was fun to listen to but it would turn into like you plug a comedy date that used to was coming up and then someone would call in from that town and be like a stripper from houston and they'd be like oh yeah we're gonna be in houston in august and then they basically turn it into a date so wow it was like a hookup show so you know the weird the weird thing is um I, I mean, and you too, I'm sure, in your life, you've known a lot of uh, different people. I have never, ever uh, seen that work out. Have you ever in real life? Me? Oh, no. Heck no. It's no. been a while for me anyway. No. no, but I've never seen that work out. I mean, you, you know, you'll meet a gal, and she's not a bad person, but you go out with her, and then, you you know, you realize, you know, I, I mean, I, uh, you know, my brother and I did all kind of crazy stuff, and... I can remember him coming back to the table at a bar and saying, hey, you know, your date just started making out with um, my girlfriend. I went, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. No. You know, and then, That's you know, that, that would be, and, and then you would, you know, would talk to them and hang out with them and you go, I don't want to be strapped with this. You know what I mean? How would you like to come home and your wife has picked up somebody at a bar or something and you got to deal with them being in the house and all? I couldn't take all that. Yeah, you know. it's a little much for me. A little too much. Yeah, I mean, you can make fun of the of a marriage, but that was a tough. I one. think Mitch was freaky before her too. Yeah. yeah, he was always a little weird in his comedy and, stuff, and but... sexually, though I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, it worked out. It worked so, out yeah. for him. Yeah, it worked out. Uh, as long as they're happy. <laughs> I I think he's fine. The woman's a slut. There you go. Well, that's yeah. yeah it would always be. They'd be picking up that stripper from Houston, and it would be, you know, her basically doing the pickup moves. And Mitch is like, "Hey, I love this. This is going to be great." Now she, he allows her to screw other guys too. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they talked. They would talk about you know. Yeah, that's the weird one. That's the um. And hang out with a couple on the weekend on their boats yeah. and all those other. Uh, years ago, many years ago, I had a, a girlfriend and um, and I was doing a play in, in like Jacksonville, and we were going out, and she cut the hair of this couple. And she was, uh, you know, we'd go to house to house cutting hair, an expensive kind of a thing. And we'd have at the beach and all. She's really good looking and all that. And she says, look, <clears throat> they're swingers. And I went, oh, and she wanted to go over there. So it sounded kind of cool to me, you know. And then the, the day of the, the day it was going to happen, I'm thinking, let's say I'm with the guy's wife or whatever. And he goes nuts while I'm with his wife, right? And I didn't go over there. I couldn't do it. It's the guy that's weird to me. I don't want. I don't want to be with some guy. And you know what? Guys that swing are so creepy. Oh, they're yeah. just a. Cre <laughs> they're a creepy group. You know, very creepy. Like I said, it's, it's always in our head. It's a fantasy. But then when it comes down to actually getting it done, no, I don't think any of us can. Yeah, well. very creepy. Very yeah. odd, yeah. yeah and in the in the movies, they 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 make him into a cliche. But sadly, I have never met a a swinger kind of guy uh, that that didn't you know act like the sleazy actor that plays the swinger in a in a movie or a play. It just it's it's weird, you know. Garrett, have you ever oh, yeah. been in a room, room with an, I, I have buddies of mine that used to do two, two sims and three sims, two and three guys with one girl. I never liked that, but they were, they were doing it all the time. No, you know? I've never been in a room where. Yeah, I don't like that. And it's not about, you know, my body touching a guy or something goes down or whatever. I just, I just I like that pretense that, that you two are there together. You know, there's that, that little, you know, somewhat of a fantasy. You know, one New Year's Eve, I would say I was ten percent toward having a foursome. You, you know, not even close at all, but it was. Boy, brought, that's pretty low odds, yeah, there, Kudrow. It was brought 10%. up in a room with yeah. a, like a couple, and then me and just this girl that was at the party, and the girls quickly squashed it. But for a second, there was a glimmer yeah. of hope in my eye. Yeah. No, if if you switch off and it's two guys in a one guy in a bed with with who started out as your date or whatever and you're in the bed with the other that i've done that i've done oh. where you like switched out <laughs> i never Tag liked team. yeah but i never liked the mixing of fluids mm -mm. i found the guy's fluids to be not cool oh really I don't yeah want... you don't like that no you don't like other guys fluids on you no no i don't like that i don't like other so fluids weird. around me <laughs> yeah Odd, That's just being hypocritical, Jay. Yeah, I, I guess it is. I get girls' fluids. I don't mind. They can they can flu it all over me. They can do whatever they want to do. <laughs> hey, speaking of fluids, congratulations on the move to Channel One Hundred and Two. Did you guys? I figured you were off the last few days cleaning up all the cum stains from the. Yeah, you know we 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 really did. We came in, and I have to tell you what I used. Um, I used white vinegar everywhere I could. There I wiped off all the microphones and everything. We used about eight gallons of white vinegar, and and where did Vivid move to, Garrett? Um, by the way, I would go to the bathroom, but I'm stuck to my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where did they move? Where did where did Vivid? Where, where did they land in the in, in what I like to call Sirius XM roulette? Where did they Where did they land? I I cannot find it right now. We can't find it right now. We'll find it. You know what? Just follow the scent, Gary. The radio in here might not be subscribed to it. We have a radio in our building that doesn't subscribe to Sirius XM. I love this. It doesn't subscribe to um, you know the pay channels or. Like a, the Opie and Anthony channel doesn't come up here because that's a XM. So you mean channel. my show is just like uh, like Salvation Army cheap? Yeah. yeah everybody yeah, is. You you're all over the place. Yeah, you're whatever, whatever. Okay. All right. I'll accept that. Thank you very much, Cujo. Uh, Tom is in Miami. Uh, the Jay Thomas Show. It is 102 is the new channel. Uh, we uh, premiered it yesterday, I believe. And... Today, it was today is the yesterday, premiere. Today, yeah, but it got pushed back. Oh, today. okay, great. And um, I never tell people while I, while 
why I was gone. Uh, but uh, for the last few days, and I'm excited about it, I shot two terrific episodes, fun episodes of Ray Donovan. And uh, it it was so much fun. And John Voigt was there, and Liev Shriver was there, and there was a guy burned. There was an explosion, you know, like fake. And he had, you know, they for hours they put, you know, makeup on his arms and... It was unbelievable. It was fun. It was, it was like, um, yeah, I, I really had a great time. And, you know, I'm just there for like, you know, a couple of episodes, but I had a, it was a lot of fun and I'm still gay in the show. And then I walked around all the sets Don't over spoil at, anything. Uh, no, 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 you know, no, no, I can't do that. In fact, I signed a piece of paper. You know that? <laughs> what is that worth? <laughs> no, the paper. No, no, I can't say anything. I signed a piece of paper. <clears throat> they don't fuck around. Yeah. Uh, Tom of Miami, go ahead. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Yeah, hey, after um, the show is over, I could have a discussion about it. But prior to the to the thing running, no, no. Oh, no, I'd lose my job. I'd be fired. Yes, go ahead. Hey, man, I've been uh, actually trying to get in when you were on the other channels. Are you no longer going to be on uh, 101 anymore? Oh, yeah, I'll be on 101. I'll be there tomorrow. Oh, so you're still there then? Yeah. Yeah, well, they moved me to the afternoon a, a couple of months ago. I work from close to 2 o'clock to close to 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Yeah, it's a shame. They should give you the whole channel. And then... Yeah, yeah, well, you know what, Tom? Thanks. Very, very nice. <laughs> they should give you <clears> one or two. Nice. That you know what? Let me tell you something, Tom. Maybe. I can tell you, I can tell you this right now. You are a bad judge of character, and you don't know anything about talent. Okay. <laughs> because, leave, leave, because, leave. because really, you'd be the only person that ever even thought of anything like that. And so that you would never work here. You'd never be in radio. And, uh, you know, I've been around a long time and that's never even been, you know, discussed. Well, believe me, they, they, they've got better talents over there like Riley Martin. They can give, uh, 101 to. Great. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank yeah, you. you. These program them. directors that call up drive me nuts. We do have three new channels. <clears throat> One is Y2 Country with a K. I like that. One is uh, Euphoria, I believe. Utopia. Utopia. And Utopia. What is that? Is that ethereal type music? Kind of like of dance. Dance stage. music, but not as heavy, I would right. assume. Right, and, right. And uh, I forget the other one. Venus, my new fave. Oh, good. You like is it? That for I love women? It. No, it, well, I mean, maybe. men are from Mars. Women. It's like my milkshake brings all the boys to the that kind of stuff. Is Mitch Vitell in the studio? I am here. Let's bring him. Uh, yeah, Mitch, yeah. welcome to the show. Hey, Jay, thanks for having me on again. Uh, wonderful. Thank you, uh, Mitch. You you've always. Uh, by the way, Mitch will be at the Gotham Comedy Club in New York uh, doing. Um, well, stuff from his album, or, but but ba public uh, display of perversion, which is now available on iTunes. And Mitch, we've had you on before. I believe the last time you were here, you were just getting into your um, perversions uh, with the with the girlfriend. With the wife, and, she's the wife. Yeah, yeah. We're we're actually having sex with Riley Martin later today. Well, congrats! So if that guy wants to come, and watch. Are you really gonna let your let Riley Martin touch your wife? Uh, it matters if he's got a hot girl to bring with him. If I get a good trade off. Well, I can say right now, I'm not even there and don't really know. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, we were just talking about this. Um, you, you were probably pretty freaky before you met. Uh, what's your lovely wife's? Uh, Jessica. Name? The beautiful yeah, you Jessica. You were probably pretty freaky before you met uh, Jessica, right? I don't know if I was freaky. I think I was, I was afraid to let my freakiness out. So I used to be freaky inside, but I would come off as the sweet guy. And then I think uh, what I would do is like weird stuff with girls, and then I would try to uh, be their boyfriends afterwards because I felt so guilty about it. What? 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 Wait a minute. Weird things like what? Yeah. Like you know, like porno women? sex. Like I'm really into like the porno kind of. You know, like I think uh, every guy constant kind of wants to have porno sex, but you feel really weird afterwards when you ask a girl you don't really know to do it because they know you're kind of a weirdo. Is that like jerk off your feet? Yeah, and on your really face, on feet and thing, and right? all of a Riley Martin <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and and uh, anal is big in that, and and double penetration. Never big a big of... anal guy or a double penetration guy. Just I I think really? I just... you wouldn't want your you wouldn't want my penis in your wife's ass and your penis in her vagina. You wouldn't want that. Well, let's try it, and I can then comment <laughs> on it afterwards because I'm one of these people that doesn't like to say I don't like something I haven't tried. Well, you know the skin between the. Um, Perineum. You know, in, in, yeah, perineum. Our penises would be touching skin-wise. Crossing be like, sword. There would just be this little millimeter of 
skin separating our penises. You strike me as a man who has a very big penis, uh, so maybe I would take my wow. wife's butt. It's a thick penis. Yeah, you look like a thick kind of guy. I'm long, but not that thick. So I think that I oh. would be more the vagina guy. I'm the thick guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm the thick guy. Oh, you see, be, no, the, be the ass guy. guy. I'd be the. I'd, I'd be, be the, the ass guy. Can I film it, please? Yeah. The yeah, you know what, Christina? Yeah. You know what? What What's weird is 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 um, wh where? Why is it? Why don't you have or your wife? What happened to the jealousy gene? Because it seems to be kind of genetic. I mean, yeah. you know, in the olden days, you know. Uh, Scarlet Letter and all that, but then way, way back, e even with cavemen and stuff, I mean, w were there multiple sex partners? Have you researched it? Or uh, I, I would think you'd get your mate, and then you'd be angry if, you know, she, it was tribal. You know, you wanted the blood right. to stay in your tribe. I, you know I, anything about I that? actually think that jealousy is, well, I used to be an insanely jealous person, and now me and my wife are swingers. We've actually swung, and yeah. I've learned that that's one of the greatest things you can conquer in life is your jealousy. When you start to realize that that has done nothing in your life but keep you, you know, uh, from experiencing the world, jealousy, mm -hmm. you know. And I agree. I, and, I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, I think, and I think that that's one of the greatest things about getting older is learning that you've been kind of misled your whole life into thinking you have to be the best at something when you'll never be the best at something. There's always someone better than you at it. So once you mm -hmm. kind of accept that, like, like when me and Jessica first started fooling around, she said, you're not even enjoying yourself. I can tell you're just trying to do a good job. And she's like, just let go and enjoy yourself. She could tell you were just trying to do a good job. Were you like a painter? What well, yeah, I had a manual that I kept reading from. <laughs> really? And that uh, bothered her. <laughs> you're just trying to do a good job. Like, 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 what sort of good job sex would that? Like, like when you were uh, behind her, uh, part of your job would be to massage her uh, butthole while you're behind her, and you were just doing it to do a good well, job. Well, yeah, and I used to put a list of stuff I had to do on her back. I'd tape it on her back and check off each item as I wow. completed them. <laughs> And she said that that was taking her out of the moment. So, uh, yeah, I think that that's, you know, listen, every guy, I don't know your situation, Jay. I, I, are you, are, are you, uh, with just one woman or do you have sex? No, no, I, uh, we're Mormon and, uh, I have three wives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. in my mind, I think that like a girl knows when a guy is trying to impress her, you know, by how, his stamina or like you know say, he keeps saying like you know did you come did you come like just worry too much about proving to her what a man he is rather than just here, here I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i'm i've been married a, a few times when i was young a couple of times and stuff and um you know i've always enjoyed sex mm -hmm. i have always enjoyed a uh, man and just to one-on-one -on -one right. sex and i've been with a couple of women and you know uh, one guy in one bed me in another bed we talked about that earlier and stuff and I, I don't want to cast aspersions on you or your wife. I have never met any swingers that I wanted to continue to be friends with and hang out with forever. Yeah, you have to meet I, our group. I, I, I like them for the afternoon or for the evening yeah. or for what I could get out of it. But when I left, I was glad I wasn't in that group. I think I want to change the face of swinging now. I've just decided I so. what I want to do. I think that's my, that's my goal is to, is to change the face of swinging because uh, we have a couple of couples that we hang out with who are gorgeous, gorgeous people, way more beautiful than I would should be with. Thank God I'm in, in comedy because that's the only reason I'm allowed. So what about the guy? Some of them want to have another guy. They don't give a shit where their dick goes. Uh, how do you deal with a guy saying, why don't you give me a pull? Yeah, uh, that hasn't happened yet. But It's um, okay if it does. It's okay if it does. It, it's just skin when you think about it. The way you're doing it, it's... It's well, just it's just athletic almost. It's wonderful. I, I wish I was like you. I'm not. Yeah, but you can be like me if you have a kind of wife that like I'm. No, not... no, I could be like you with a girlfriend. If I had a girlfriend, yeah. When I came to New York, right. You know, you know, my girlfriend and I would hang out with you and your wife, but it wouldn't be with my wife. No, it, 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 so I you, wouldn't even want to bring it up. You so you'd bring your girlfriend, but not your wife. Would your girlfriend right. be like the call girl that gives heroin to guys? Which no, not? no, no, no. There's some there's some nice people that you hang with. Uh -huh. that are freer than you are, and, and you know, they're people's mistresses or girlfriends or whatever. I mean, yeah, that I've seen. Yeah, because but... I think Jessica's more into the hot girls. Like, if you have a hot girl with you, then we yeah. can watch them do stuff, and then we can kind of just rub up against them like monkeys every now and then, <laughs> and, you know, wow. and then go back and drink and watch. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can make I, that happen. 
Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. <laughs> and I can make my side happen, too. Uh, but uh, here's the weird thing. I When you have, if you decide to have children or these other couples have children, yeah. how do you explain that to uh to the to the kids, if you have, you're gonna have ch children with your with your wife. Yeah, we are gonna have kids in about two years. We decided, uh, and at that point, I think what I'll probably do is leave her. So wow. that's how I'm gonna handle that. I decided. Good plan. What would happen? What would happen if you had twins? <laughs> you had twins, and yeah. it was a boy and a girl that came out, and he was eating her pussy, and she was sucking his dick. <laughs> oh my God, you're such a sick. I, would, I mean, think about that. <laughs> put that, on, that would be, you know, for you and your wife, that would be such a thrill. I would put it, that on the internet so fast <laughs> and make money finally in this business. Uh, Mitch Vitell is back in uh, our studios in New York. I'm uh, back in California. Yeah, I miss you. I miss seeing your face. Yeah, MitchVitell.com. Mitch, I will say this to you. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, and you're at the uh, uh, Gotham Comedy uh, Club um, this weekend. Friday and uh, Saturday, two shows. shows. Um, I haven't spoken to you in a long time. Yes, I will sir. say, you sound much calmer. Yeah, I think and that's not sure. I know you're different. a comic, and I know you've done the nervous uh, comic thing and all that. But even in your personality, you know, I know Gilbert Godfrey forever, and and he it was always Gilbert and right. everything else. Right. And I just went to his home recently. He has a beautiful wife and a beautiful home, and it was hmm. almost a little disconcerting uh, to be with him at his at his house. You yeah, know? and and um, it it is a calming thing, but this seems to have worked for you. Yeah, I'm happy. I think that that's you know what's funny is I was always scared that when I got happy that my comedy would suffer. And have you found that when you're happier, like I think that's a big scam. I'm funnier than I've ever been. I have a my my new hour show, which is at Gotham this week, is funnier than I was when I was that nervous, you know. Uh, little guy trying to, you know, getting get girls. Getting fired at Denny's. Yeah, getting fired at Denny's, exactly. And now I'm much, and now I feel like I'm writing more for me, and it's funnier. Does that make sense? Well, you've matured, and, and you Thank are you. happy, and, and even though you're happy in a relationship that a lot of people would find, um, you know, uh, uh, off the chart, alternative, whatever you want to, Call it, you know. It, isn't it, it seems funny? To that, work for yeah, it. but isn't it funny that people who don't do something try to give it a uh, like a name? Like it was funny. Like I was talking to someone. Well, you say perversion. You say the word. You mm. say public display of perversion. Yeah. available now on iTunes. That's true. So, <laughs> I mean, let's let's uh, get it out in the open. Yeah, no, I think you're a complete freak, and I think your wife is a complete freak. But you love and us. I wouldn't in introduce you to my family. <laughs> we would behave ourselves. We would no, just we would just finger everybody under the table. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, you know. But we keep everything private the way it's supposed yeah. to be. Jay. We'd have respect yeah. for you. We wouldn't do anything when you were in the room. What do you think I am? We would. So here's here's what my wife is really like. I would get my wife in yeah. the room, and she would go, "God, Mitch and uh, Mitch and Jessica are so nice." Sweet. Go, Watch this. I go like this. They're swingers. What? Yes, they swing. She eats pussy. He fucks her while another guy is fucking her in the home. I'm getting so and, hard hearing this. And my, and you know what? And my wife, my wife would go, "Would you shut up? So what? You oh. ruin everything for every." Yes, she would tell me to shut up, and to that if that's who they are or whatever, mm -hmm. then you just shut the fuck up because they we're having a wonderful night and don't start. I swear to God. How that's long have you been thing. married? Uh, 22 wow, years, 23 years, yeah, good. long time. She would shut me up immediately. Yeah, and I would. Go, you know, be, now I wouldn't do that anymore because years ago I would, I would go, yeah, guess what? You know, I met her, right? She sucked his dick under the desk. Okay, while he was married. That's, well, why? That's, well, yeah. While she was shutting you up, my wife would suck your dick, so everything would work out, and <laughs> I would have sex with your wife from that. I mean, this is all planned out when you want to. On invite some us over. level, I think my wife would be open to a lot of things she would but i believe that um the the ramification this was most people the the next day ramifications of it are what people worry about like mm -hmm. how how will it affect us the next day when we're not going to do this again for a long time yeah you know well i just recently saw my wife have sex with another man it was the first time first time first time ever um, was he handsome was he a strong handsome man no which helped. <laughs> Good. Was were you it? in the closet or it you was, were out open watching? I was no, I was with the other guy's wife right next to them. Wow. Are there any rules? Uh, the rules are that uh, 
the guys don't touch each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is the safe word, don't fuck me there. <laughs> this is the safe pass. No, actually, the mostly. safe word is Jay Thomas. That's nice. what we use. Yeah, that's a good Keep one. Keep him in the bedroom. Good <laughs> and, idea. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I looked over, and I and Jess said the next day, so what do you think? And I said, well, it was, I was confused because I was so attracted to his wife. Uh, that I, it was worth it to me to look over and like I kind of forgot about her having sex with the guy because she was so hot, the wife. And wow. then afterwards, I said, "Yeah, I looked over at one point and you guys were doing it, and it was kind of hot." And me and Jessica have this kind of belief that that's just a very attractive thing to see your partner from another angle having sex. And the only thing that would ruin it for you is if you're jealous or if you're worried if the other person is going to be better than you or not better yep. than you. And yep. and if you're doing that, then you're not even in having good sex. Because if you're worried about being good or better, like, that's the point. Like That's what I said about jealousy. Once you stop wondering if the other guy's going to be better than you, Jessica gets very excited if a girl is better than her in bed with me. She does. She's like, I love that you have something different. That way you'll never be on the outside going, I wish I had that all the time. Because it's almost like when you get a sample of something, you don't, you know, it's, if you give up alcohol. It's not taboo. Anymore. Right. Yeah. That there's like these little tastes that you get. So I get to go out there and go, okay, when I'm at shows and gorgeous girls come on to me, I can say no now because I know that that would ruin my marriage and I know I can get home and if Jessica's into it, then I could see that kind of girl naked anyway, so it becomes a lot less uh, important. And I think so, that that's so you're not was. allowed to fuck around no. if she's not there. No, 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 no. There's we're, the rule. We have to be in the same room before we That's do the anything. dumbest rule I've ever heard. What do you mean? <laughs> Otherwise, it's called cheating, Thank dummy. Thank you. Hey, Christina. What? Smart producer. Christina knows what she's doing. I, Bullshit. I, mean, I know what you're doing. It's I'm not doing cheating. it, but I get it. And are you moving on to another show, or uh, what are we doing? Whatever you want. I'm here if you want yeah. me or not. Uh, yeah, no. Mitch Fatah, I love talking about this, uh, at Gotham uh, this weekend. And, of course, on iTunes, a public display of a perversion, which, CD. of course, it isn't perverted, but he uses the words so that you <laughs> assholes will buy uh, the CD and pay God, for you know it on me. I know, on iTunes. It's the Jay Thomas Show at the new 102. Society's oddities played like a fiddle. The Afternoon Drive Show, Sirius XM Indy. So if your uh, radio had been set to uh, a preset of 104, it is now just going immediately to 102, so we don't have to make a big uh, deal out of it. And uh, people always ask me, why do they make these moves? Uh, why did why did I was hell? I don't know. I started on 148, or then went to 116. I don't know all the channels I was on, and um, and I I don't know. And I'm not a kind of guy that asks anybody. You know, I I don't have any. You know, there, there are people that have to. They have to know everything. Like, well, why are we? Why why do we have that over there like that? And I'm thinking, well, who gives a fuck where they put that thing? Whatever it is, I live in that world of, what the fuck? Who cares? We have Let's the just best get out of it, though. What's that? We're Howard's 100, 101. We're 102, and then Opie and Anthony's 103. We're now, will we move in. to be? Will we move to be closer OPM. to them? Is that true? I mean, we only move, you know, two spots. It was not that big of a deal, but I guess so. But you don't know either. I liked you better when you were 102. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know. We're 102 you. now. Oh, we're now not. I like it better. <laughs> That's why I'm staying in. Mitch Patel, <laughs> uh, the uh, the great comic who has been with us before, but was always kind of a nervous, purvis kind of a guy, and unable to get women and nervous. And he meets the love of his life, Jessica. And and mm-hmm. um, when you when you met, uh, by the way, uh, Gotham Comedy Club this weekend, and then go on iTunes and find public display of perversion, even okay. though it's a word he only used to make money. <laughs> um, the the weird thing is is that and I think we might even get your wife on the phone here also. Who was the first one? That said, if we do all these freaky things, it's okay for us to stay together. Well, it was her her entire thing that got me into this. I met her in a threesome. That's how we met. We met in Addison, Texas, and her and her best friend uh, gave me my first threesome ever. 
And uh, and then she just couldn't get rid of me after that because I was so happy. And so she said to me, listen, you've always been a porno guy. You you know, I've been obsessed with porno my whole life. And she said, why not live the pornos instead of watching them? I believe in swinging. I believe in bringing other girls into the room. And, mm -hmm. and if you can get okay with other guys coming into the room, too, then it would be fair. Because she said, don't fool yourself. Every girl wants other guys just as much as other guys want other girls. And I became okay with it after doing a lot of heroin. And, uh, and now, wait a second. The guys, are, <laughs> the guys aren't any fun. Women, I mean, I could do with other women and stuff. But right. I don't want a guy. Like I said, the only uh, chance I ever had to swing was years ago. And I thought, you know, I'm screwing the guy's wife. He goes berserk and gets a butcher knife I, and stabs me. You know, it's like, I don't know what the guy's going to do. Well, if you and you Garrett want to come over, you guys can uh, be a, a new couple. And uh, we'll show you. We have to bring our customer. wives and girlfriends with us, though. No, just you and Garrett. No, yeah. uh, no <clears> wives. <throat> Oh, and, mm. and Christina too. Well, Christina, wait a second. Christina, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna, Garrett, be there for the we're gonna want you on Christina your own. Christina and I, I could you. come to your apartment. Yeah. Without, uh, I thought, you, I thought you had a significant other rule. No, 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 well, no. <laughs> Jessica is bisexual, so a girl can come by herself. But I'm oh. not bisexual, so we're not gonna have a dude there without a wife or someone for me to drown right. my sorrows in while another guy's banging right. my wife. Now, wait a second. I would bring a person and I would say it was my wife and and, and you would go, uh, Jessica it's a pleasure to meet you and then my my girlfriend would go hi how are you charmed I'm sure <laughs> as long as she's charmed hot, I'm sure we're not with her for her personality just as long as she has a I'd nice vagina like you to meet Trixie oh, charmed I'm sure <laughs> you know like that how long have you and um, Ronnie I thought his name was Jay <laughs> yeah Jay how long we've been together oh 26 27 years minutes I met minutes. him on seeking arrangements <laughs> yeah wow so so she says let's yeah. now I would imagine yeah. that that having this desire, which, by the way, it's no different than being gay or 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 anything. You have a desire in you. You you're born like this, right? right? No one did anything to your wife to cause her to be like the porno people. Somebody did something to them, and right. strippers, right? I, you know, I and I was a strip show comic, and I was around topless clubs, and that's that's the only place that had comedy when yeah. I was starting. Wow. There wasn't a room anywhere. Yeah. You know, I'd have to go in and go, can I? Tell jokes in between the girls. Right? You and Leno, yeah. They were all fucked up. They were all messed up. Now, uh, did somebody mess your wife up? I think, uh, well, Jess was a stripper, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, I mean, many years ago she was a stripper, and when I'm on the road, apparently, and I don't know. Uh, and uh, she, she still goes out and makes a little money. No, actually, I go out with her. We'll go to strip clubs and show because I love that because I'm a porno guy. So it's just, you know, knows how to play the part of the stripper because she was a stripper and she knows what other guys would were, were always hoping would happen when they go into a strip club. So she'll play that part for me. Like we do a lot of role playing, me and Jess. Like I think that's how wow. you keep your marriage very vibrant. Do you and your wife do a lot of role playing, Jay? We do. Uh, my wife brought me some nuts. Uh, a few minutes ago, <laughs> in a big and jar. And cheese. And cheese. And payment of that is you have to lick her asshole. Uh, you, I'd love to, but uh, and um, <laughs> and some better. cheese for my uh, for my physical tomorrow because okay. I have I have to fast. I can only have. This is I can't so have, hot. Oh my I, god. Yeah, I can't have exactly. carbohydrates and I can't have sugar. So that means I can't go down on her. You're I don't think we're staying uh, with you soon. To be honest, I believe the asshole is a carbohydrate and I believe the pussy is a sugar. Just send Trixie uh, over. We just want Trixie now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to Jay of Michigan. Uh, Jay of Michigan, have you seen Mitch Vitell on stage live? Have you ever uh, watched him perform? I, I haven't been that lucky, man. I tell you, uh, Mitch, you're you're one of the funniest guys on Raw Dog yes, when yes. I listen, and I haven't ever even looked you up on YouTube because yeah. I have this image of you. But listening to the conversation you're having today, you're you're funny as hell. Thank you, sir. You you sound totally different. I'm I growing up. You, when you well. When you write for your act, do you write to the character? Because the character's hilarious. Yeah. But I, I hear a totally different sort of style. Like, you roll, but I'm wondering, do you write for that character to be that kind of nervous? Well, I think that what you're probably, since you haven't seen me live, uh, I think that Sirius probably isn't playing my newer stuff, which has me maturing as a gentleman. Yeah, and, it's not uh, like Super Retardo. Yeah, like yeah that. That you're probably hearing Super Retardo and Miniscripts and Muffins when I was kind of that 
I wasn't that character. That's where I was in my career, and now I'm more of a uh, more, more of a sexual beast. And I don't uh, think he needs your fucking prompting, Christina. No, it actually okay, helps. Well, <laughs> no, it doesn't. He just wants to fuck you, so don't think he likes no, he you. he doesn't. I want my wife to fuck her. See? Oh. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, but uh, but if you, my new CD, Public Display Perversion, is more up to date and, and talks about now, you know, me being married to a bisexual girl and where my life is at. I think artists mm -hmm. become very boring if they just stay in what they used to do. And I no. like, you know, and I think I've matured, hopefully. Uh, hmm. That's, you know. I I call I call it like the David Lee Roth syndrome. It's like David Lee Roth never realized he was getting older, so all of a sudden he became kind of a caricature of himself. And I think or well, Paul, Paulie Carlin, George is that Carlin right. was my idol, and and also um um oh god uh uh, uh oh, David on. Brenner. No, he blew himself up with the with the with the coke. Um, oh, Robin Williams. No, no, he's dead. He's black. He's dead. What am I? I you Richard know, Pryor. Um, Richard Pryor. Yeah. They one day, almost close to the time together, yeah. they decided they wanted to start talking normally right. and cursing and telling them the true story about mm -hmm. how they felt. Prior to that, yeah. they were regular stand-ups. Oh, you know, enough. Pryor would imitate Bill Cosby yeah. and stuff, you know. Yeah. Now, Cosby always told stories he was comfortable with about his family, his wife, and everything else. Never cursed, and he was always comfortable. He was never comfortable with who Richard Pryor became, and um, he, he doesn't like cursing and all that, which is okay, but he was already in a comfortable place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you grow up. I mean... Kind of Look at the comics that don't grow up. It's it, after a while. It's you know they just look old. You know you it's know? funny you say that, Jay, because me and my wife were recently on Twitter and we saw that Paulie Shore's site said something like, "The Wheeze is coming," and we're like, "Isn't he fifty years old now?" And he's still doing the Wheeze. He was just stuff? here. He was just here, and he is very funny to talk to and very relaxed. And so if he's doing that. Yeah, it's to attract his uh, people to come to see the what shows. they expect. Yeah, to see what they expect. I just didn't want to become a caricature of myself, and I felt I felt like I had done that, and I moved I moved uh, forward now in my career, and I wanted to talk now about being married and the way I look at marriage and how I think marriage can still be sexy and role playing and having sex with Christina, and uh, <laughs> and I think that all that stuff you know made me become more comfortable as an artist to be more of who I really am. When that you was, have a kid, when you have kids, yes. and they get to be teenagers, they're not going to like the fact that mommy has girls come over and eat her pussy. They will be addicted and, to a lot of cocaine. Or no, <laughs> I'm not kidding. They will not like it. They will not like They They don't we're like it. We're not going to do it at their birthday party, Jay. It's going to be private yeah, in the other room. We're not going to be doing it on top of that. They're not going to like that. And, and a lot of parents aren't going to let their kids come over and play at your house. I am not kidding. It's going to happen. I wouldn't let my kids play at my house. I, I No, I, but you're I, making a joke about it. I'm not. My, I, you know what? I, I'm I'm just telling you, they, there'll be a lot of kids. We Listen, I don't even want to say the guy's name. The guy was a famous talk show host, and he married this stripper, and their house was really weird. And my son went over there, and hmm. at 3 in the morning, he calls up. He says, come get me. He was like like wow. 7 years old. Huh. Yeah, I mean, and we went, you know, we're not going over there anymore. You know, it was like, it's a different lifestyle. We're not going over Is there. this Arsenio Hall you're talking about? Close. But, um, can you rhyme his name so we can... Yes. No, I can't. I'm not doing any of it. But uh, but his wife, her her specialty was uh, breaking beer cans with her ass. Uh, but anyway, uh, and and the grandmother was a big stripper, and she was over there babysitting, and it was bad. Not that that would happen at your home, but but Mitch, that no, that actually does happen in our home. It's going to happen. It's like the, there are going to be people that will not allow your kids, uh, they, their kids, to come over for a play date. I am not kidding. Jay, I think one agree, of the things Jay of Michigan, do you agree with that? Would your wife let the kids go over to Mitch and his uh, 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 the yes, wife? Yes. Doing I'll give him a free teams? CD. I'll give him a free signed <laughs> CD. Would you let your yeah. kids go at a play date over there? Yeah, definitely, with my phone and to take some pictures. And, uh, there you go. There you make go. sure he okay. brings them back. But <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, you know, what him and his wife are doing, man, that's, that's a real hard balance, that line. If you're just dating somebody yeah. or you and your buddy are hammered and pick up some woman at a bar, I mean, it's a right. free-for-all and it's a blast. But when you marry and you maintain that activity... That's a pretty fine line. So, I mean, it takes so well-balanced people to pull that off. Yeah, I think I'm well-balanced, and that's why I don't talk like I used to in character. Right. <laughs> I think I'm more yeah. balanced. I'm, I'm right. guessing the transition from being the character to now mm -hmm. being more real and, and moving past that, 
that had to be kind of sketchy in your head going, this is, I know I want to do it. I hope that it's received okay, and that's a, that's a career change. Well, that's an, awesome, that's an awesome question, and the truth of the matter is is that when I got married, I decided I was going to not wear my ring on stage, and then I said to Jessica, you know something, I'm just going to be a phony then, and I always despise phonies. Anybody in their life who's a phony, I find this. Dis despicable. So I said, well, I'm just going to have to accept that I'm either going to make a living as a stand-up comedian as who I am now or not. And I think that that in life is what you have to do. You have to be willing to not have something to get it. And I was ultimately finding that I'm funnier than ever now. I have uh, more couples coming to see me now instead of, you know, wow. I used to have more single people, not more swingers are yeah. coming to see you. More swingers, yeah. Uh, let me tell you a great thing to do with the wedding ring uh, on the stage. Okay. You, when you meet a woman backstage, you have her lick that finger to get the ring off. That's what you. I actually just put it on my penis. Well, yeah, that's what well, I do. With it, it is a thin one. All right. Uh, <laughs> Mitch Vitell is here, and and now, of course, are you tired of talking about um, swinging and, and 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 because now that seems to be your whole no, life. I love it. Where, I'm fascinated, really? but I'm still just as fascinated by it as everybody else because I'm new to it. So yeah. I'm perfect to be the person to talk to about it because I'm discovering it. I mean, I literally, Jay, just two months ago saw my wife having sex with another couple for the first time. She'd oh. only brought girls in. So this is all very new to me. And half the time I can't even get hard because I'm so nervous. So I'm just still, I'm not one of those swinger guys that just, like I've seen these swinger guys, they come over to your house and they just pull down their pants and they're ready to go. And I'm I'm still Has scared. that happened to you? Is that Have you had that? All the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So those, what do you do? Do you have a security guard? I usually swat it with a fly swatter. No, but do you have somebody around? I mean, I, that's what's scary to me. It's men are weird about women. Women are okay about sex. Yeah. Men are weird, weird about yeah. sex. Yeah, they're very they're, weird. They're gross. Yeah. Yes, they are. I don't. And think so that's you, the problem. I don't think what you realize though, Jay, is the people who are coming over have wives with them who are usually gorgeous. That's the only people we'd have over our house. And a guy with a gorgeous wife is going to tend to be someone who's not one of those freaky guy that needs to get laid because he's usually going to be a decent looking guy, and that means he's not one of these guys that's just you know out scouring to get laid all the time does that make sense like mm -hmm. yeah. i find that more attractive people are uh are 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 better no offense Garrett. i i, I find that attra <laughs> attractive, <laughs> i find good. that attractive people are are better to be with because they have more self-confidence um and they are less apt to then be pushy because they don't need it as bad does that mm -hmm. make sense mm -hmm. you know it, I'm sorry, but um, I, I only would like to visit it. I, I really enjoy coming home and, and having a traditional marriage uh, made no, with two people don't. That, don't, that don't speak to each other, that really don't <laughs> share anything. And after a while, the sex uh, dissipates down to almost like the Colorado River heading for Mexico, where it's... It's not even a river anymore. It's just a, it's a, it's a sandbar. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah, what I, yeah. that's what I'm looking for. Well, we could at. reinvigorate okay. your marriage, me and Jessica. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't want you on top of my wife. <clears throat> I'm telling you, you would. I'm hot. No, you. No, I wouldn't want you on top of my wife. I don't have a bigger penis than you, so you wouldn't be insecure about that. Although I may be longer, but I'm not bigger. Here's here's the weird thing. You're making love to someone that you. It's not love. making love, don't you? I don't oh, look at your wife and tell her she's she's the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me. I just. So when you're with your wife, it's a different type of. Yeah. You, how often are you and your wife? just you and she together or do you ever go come on let's not have anybody over tonight let's just you and i do it the you majority ever get of the time we're only on our own i mean we have two two types of sex we have what we call uh uh the girl sex and the guy sex and the girl sex is she likes to make love to her i like candles and i and i love her and i make love mm -hmm. to her and i mm -hmm. very r rarely ejaculate that way and then we have the guy sex which what do you is, mean you rarely ejaculate it's just not it, the only way for me to come is if it's just dirty like i need to like i'm a porn guy so i need to make believe that you know the girl's on crack and crying and uh and and has a lot of issues right, i'm gonna home. i'm gonna stop you because this was said to me just recently this young woman uh was in a conversation i heard her at a restaurant and she said jesus christ these guys watch all this fucking porno right and, and it i ruins and us I, I came home. This girl says this. She says, "I, I had to jerk this guy off with my feet the other. I am like 
like in my yeah. paper, in my soup, trying to hear this thing. And she was really complaining. And the other girl yeah. agreed with her that guys, because of porno, mm -hmm. don't know or aren't interested in ejaculating yeah. inside of a woman or normally. So that's you. Yeah, it's ruined, it's ruined men. Porno has ruined men. I mean, and I've been yeah. watching it since I was 13. So it's in my mind now that the only way I can come is if it's dirty. But I think that there's an answer to that. Because I think if you find that mix with women, like Jessica's more than willing to play that part with me she'll be the porno girl but her rule is listen i'll do that for you like every now and then but then you know we have to even it out with like you have to make love to me too and i think that that's a more healthy way to deal with it than just a woman hating a man for can you come in your wife can you all the time yeah yeah oh, all can. the time if i pay her while i'm doing it that's the only way but it will work does it excite you so much that you would want to come in my wife like like our, like if we were together yeah does the other does a new woman excite you to be able to ejaculate inside of her yeah yeah i mean wow because, because, yeah, well, I mean, I had sex with other women in front of Jess, and mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. usually with other women there, you're coming in a very porno way, like they're jerking you off. I think if off. your wife undressed in front of me and was laying in front of me, yeah. I would have ejaculated on the comforter. Before yeah, the comforter. yeah, well, I would. I, I, yeah. Do you, have, do you have special sheets and 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 things? Because it sounds like it gets gooey at your place. We use Disney sheets, just of uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we use our our special. Uh, Frozen sheets that we have with a big thing with Ariel on it or whatever. From the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. Uh, MitchFatel dot com. F A T E L. Gotham Comedy Club this weekend, and our our other guests are in the studio, uh, and we'll talk to them too. Their mouths, I'm sure, are wide open uh, with this. And the public display of perversion is now on on iTunes, and it's the new, improved, and sexually balanced Mitch, Mitch Fatel. Uh, yeah. Now, it's fatal. Yeah, it's fatal. It it's fatal. Now, let me ask, what about the parents? Uh, have, uh, when, we when won't have sex with our parents. We, oh, that's we where we that. cross the line and how, decide. how are her parents and how are your parents? And, and I need to hear that dynamic at the wedding. How'd that go? You know, it's interesting you say that because we have a feeling, me and Jess, that her mom was a swinger and maybe that's why genetically she has it in her because mm. the mom has talked about the fact that like she's like, okay, you guys do what you want, and she keeps saying cuidado. She says cuidado, and uh, we get the feeling. Is she that, from a foreign country? No, that's what annoys us that she says cuidado instead. What does cuidado mean? It means caution in Spanish. Cuidado. Yeah, cuidado. Cuidado. <laughs> Ooh, that's turning me on. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I speak Spanish, but she is not saying it right. It's cuidado. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Know. Uh, but so, so that's what she said. Well, no, this is Fatale. just this is Fatale. just this is just Mitch doing his deciphering of it. I don't speak any other language. So, so the mother would you fuck the mother? The mother's so hot. She's almost she's fifty five or almost sixty, and she's gorgeous. So that's why I know I'm going to be okay with Jess for a while. Is and, there a, a husband? Uh, there is a stepfather who mm -hmm. I think is a little bit jealous of me. And, Does he uh, look at uh, Jessica every now and again, and you think maybe he tries something with her when she was a kid? He tries stuff with her now when he drinks, and uh, we have wow. to stop it. Yeah, no, he uh, <laughs> he wasn't. He was too real. He wasn't the step. He wasn't the stepfather when she was growing up. Thank God. No. Yeah, okay. he's the, he's the new stepfather. There was another guy that got in there. Yeah, the mom's on her fourth marriage, so wow. that's why we think she was a swinger before. Uh, and, and now uh, your mom and dad are you're you're from some Middle Eastern background? Aren't no, you? no, no, I'm a Jew. Like really? it's Middle Eastern, right? Yeah. It certainly is. Yeah. Fatel almost sounds, you know, yeah. uh, Palestinian or whatever. Yeah, no, but now true. your mom and dad have to be deep down inside horrified by all this. Uh, I think they're too old to know what's going on at this point. They're in the really? 70s and uh <clears throat> and they love Jessica so much and I know that my mom stalks me on the internet so I know she's seen all this stuff but when she sees us she doesn't bring it up and I think that that's the way she's handling it the way she handled my whole childhood which is making believe that we're a happy family mm -hmm. and uh and and that's kind of her sweet spot wow yeah who's the most famous person you ever swung with we haven't done any of that yet but we have had mm -hmm. uh you know who swings the guy from boardwalk empire uh who, there's a there's a there's a couple of famous swingers. One is, Does he want people to know that he swings? Yeah, yeah. He's on all alleged? the sites. He's on all the sites. He's on all the swinger sites. What's he play? Um, who's the guy? He's he, he's got the really weird Boardwalk Empire. He looks like a he's got the not big Steve lips. Buscemi. Yeah, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, that's him. I'm telling you, well, he excuse swings. Me one second. He's sucking excuse my me. cock right now. Hold it one second. <laughs> I'm going to say alleged because we haven't seen this. I'm telling You're you. You're telling me that this major star, he's a major star. He is known as a swinger, Jay. I'm telling you, it's on the sites. 
Yeah. You sure it's not a lookalike? No, it's him. I know. I, I know the feel of his cock. I know everything. He's, a, he's yeah. a very nice guy. Even his cock has got lips like his, his face. It's very yeah, weird. He's a very nice guy, but I think he would be really weird. hard to take Yeah. physically looking to look at him. I mean. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that he's in the show. In before. Fargo, they talked about how ugly he was. Remember that? Was he in Fargo. Oh, did they? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's all they talked about is how ugly he was. Uh, we're going to say that's alleged. I'm sure Garrett's looking it up now. Uh, by the way, uh, Mitch, you could uh, certainly welcome to stay. And, and sure. um, love it. this is just incredible. I love you, um, Jay. I love, I, I love show. you. You're the only show I can talk about this sick stuff with. What do you mean? You're the only show that comes right out and asks me these questions just like this. Well, I, I'm interested in it, yet I wouldn't want to live it more than a weekend, and I'll tell you why. I'm from New Orleans, and I was raised in a pretty free society. And then my brother, and when I was in Hollywood, you know, Coke was everywhere, and women were all over the place. And so for the weekends or forever, we would just blow it completely out. And then I would be tired of it, yeah. and I would go on my way. Yeah. And, and I like stability. My brother has continued it for 30 or 40 years. He lives the same life he did 30 years ago with multiple women and Is doing your brother whatever. Paulie Shore? No, but oh, he okay. but he but he is and there's a lot of guys like that in a lot of communities, but especially down where I'm from in Louisiana. Yeah. They're kind of stuck in a time warp. And and the weird thing is, I like to I got I get it's exhausting to me. You know, uh getting a guy, getting a girl, you know, eating and everything. It's, it, it just, you have to be happy first, though. If you're happy, then that stuff, it's almost like, it's almost mm -hmm. like if you go to a club to dance when you're younger. If you're looking to get laid, you probably won't. But if you just no, go to right. enjoy yourself, then that's mm -hmm. when it happens. And I think that means just don't look for it. We just kind of like, it, you know, she just, she drinks at the shows. And when couples come out, she hits on them and all the girls. She just, she, Jessica likes the girls. She's very, very bisexual. So it's just, it, so it, we're happy. Is, I, it, is there ever a time when she's not hitting on them? No. Well, when she's not really? drunk. <laughs> when so that doesn't that doesn't get tiring. No, because the rest of the listen, I I have I work on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are my shows. From Monday through Thursday, we're just normal, re regular couple, and we just enjoy each other and watch Sons of Anarchy and King Game of Thrones, and then you know. And and, uh, and I hope you add uh, Ray Donovan to that, which and I'm on. Ray Donovan. I'm on Ray, Do I'm on Ray Donovan. What station is that on, Ray Donovan? Uh, it's on Showtime. Oh, okay. And, I don't and, and I'm I'm gay in the in the show. I'm gay. Mm -hmm. I'm one. I'm I'm a nemesis of his. I'm a guy that owns a company called Stalkerazzi. And like TMZ, and I'm gay in it, and um, I just finished doing a couple of episodes, so you got to get into it. And he's always beating up my lovers, hurting I'm gonna, them. I'm going to check that out. All right. I'm now, look, uh, before we go anywhere, as you know, I've been with uh, David Letterman for t oh, 25 years and, and do the Christmas show and all that. Yeah. You have said that you, and a lot of guys, you know, love David. You turned off to him. Over ten years ago, why, why did well, you turn David, off? David David Letterman was my hero growing up. I was a kid, right. and I was, and my I I actually was. Would offered, you like to see him on top of your wife? <clears throat> um, well, he could probably bring some hot girls with him because no, his wife is not hot. Is well, no, well, but then it been yeah. I mean, but is he faithful to her even? I mean, because uh, he, he wasn't. Probably he has now. some mistresses that he can. When you get caught, with. you get you know. He and his wife remind me of that 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 famous painting the american gothic when they're holding the pitchfork yeah that's yeah. what he and his wife look like <laughs> yeah. to me yeah i'm not joking yeah I, yeah i just got to the point where i think what i always loved about dave was that he wasn't a political guy he was the guy that i just i don't like i'm not a i'm not a bill maher fan i'm not fans of comics who go on stage and just kind of lecture about politics and i found that what about dennis uh um you know um miller um miller yeah, yeah well, i don't watch him i almost either. said dennis leary because uh, dennis leary can get yeah. Political too, but in a wild kind of a way. But the point Dennis is, is like you're, you're watching Dennis. You, yeah, uh, listen, I've heard uh, Miller or, or, or uh, Leary. I personally don't like any kind of political comedy because, in my mind, when you are going Lewis to Black, shit, Lewis Black, don't like him. No, really. I mean, I think he's funny, but I wouldn't. I mean, uh, but then again, I'm Carrot Top. Yeah, way too political. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. way too funny. Uh, too red. Bordering on communism. <laughs> I just felt Can that you Dave imagine all of a sudden seeing carrot top. He's got muscles with freckles and red hair everywhere, pounding your wife. That wouldn't happen. I don't think Jess then, would like that happen. Then looking over to you and saying, "You know, I'm a member of the Tea Party." That would really upset you. Or even having says my wife and then pulling like a big like rubber snake out of her ass, like as a prop, you know. <laughs> that 
I could mess up things. <laughs> You outdid me. So it's the political stuff that bothers you. I just don't like politics, and I found that like Letterman started becoming this really political guy on, and 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 I I think uh listen I don't I don't know if you agree with me, but I think a good comic doesn't really let someone know their politics because it's always going to turn off half the people no matter what it is. And I felt like what's the like, and I and and I hate going out to dinner when someone just starts talking politics because I just find it boring I, and no one's ever going to change anyone's mind and 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 when. Right. Letterman became political. I thought he kind of like lost me because I just used to love when he was just this goofy kind of. I mean, he was my hero, and I felt like he kind of like you know like I always feel like Howard Stern kind of uh, walked that line in that he never you never knew what what, what party he he uh, he supported, and he would just kind of he wouldn't talk about politics per se. He would talk more about people, and I think that Letterman just became so so liberal that it became annoying to me. Hmm. And you're not now. What's funny is, I would imagine you're an ultra liberal, but but you you're a conservative who likes to swing. <laughs> I think I'm in the middle. I think that as I get mm -hmm. older, I'm in the middle. I I don't believe in. I don't believe. I, 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 what are you? I'm I'm a Democrat because I believe in abortion and I believe yeah, me in too. Um, and pro choice and all that. But remember, I gave a kid up for adoption. And I tried to get him aborted, but we couldn't, and we waited too long. I mean, I did. He knows this. And uh, he's my son now, and I just did his musical in New York. He's a great songwriter, and I know his, the parents, the people, his, his mom and dad, oh, wow. uh, who, who had adopted. Yeah, no, no, it's a great story. Yeah. And uh, if you type in J. Thomas's bastard, you'll see it. Um, and and all of that. And what's funny is is that we were sitting on a talk show once, and somebody said something to me, and I said, well, you know, obviously I'm I'm pro I'm pro-choice. I said like that. And then he really quickly said, well, I'm pro-life like that. Yeah. And he got a big laugh, but he right. really is yeah. because he is the product of not being aborted. Right. And he's happy to be here. So I so, actually yeah, am I'm, a successful abortion. That's what's scary. I think that's why wow. I'm pro-life. Yeah. You were pulled out. I, I was pulled out, and I just had a will to live. <laughs> yes, I did. just wanted to swing. Uh, yeah, I think that... You know, you came out, you licked your mom's pussy, and life went on. And then that. I said, life's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let, let, now we have, we have two other guests. Uh, now, this There's is... There's three of them. I've There's three the guests. That's yeah. too many. Go to liveapartment.tv. These are the creators of live at the apartment and in the studio uh, back there is uh, drew miller you in the studio hello hello how you doing yeah bye you came in to talk about having stand-up comedy in your apartment yes that's and what i came here for then mitch uh Sorry. fatal comes in i'm coming word, to a swing party it's okay the word yeah. fatal yeah. the word fatal is always a bad name to right have. i should have um and then Nick uh, Chernoff and, and uh, Dan Horowitz, uh, Hurwitz, I mean, yep. you sound like the three biggest nerds in the world. And Whoa. you wanted to have people with personalities uh, come into your drab apartment and liven things up. Is that what happened? That's pretty much exactly what happened. That's the whole story. And yeah, I could just leave now. That's it. Right. Yeah. Uh, Dan, uh, are you, Nick, or Drew, I any one of you a funny person? <laughs> no, we're no. not at all. Nobody's funny. No one's funny. Nick, How many funny? of you have had swinging relationships where you had a, your girlfriend or your wife with other women? Here's the thing. Right when I came in, you were talking about it, and then you said that you would never do two guys on one girl, and I have to say that I have done that. Oh, really? And really? it wasn't really? my really? wife. Was it my wife? It was not your wife. I don't think it was your wife. Not yet. It was Steve Buscemi, and... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You are um, funny. Thank you. You are funny. Now, um, at the yeah. same time, or did you take turns? This was... Uh, I guess it was take turns. It was... Yeah. I mean, same time. Yeah, take turns. So she wasn't connected to both of you at the at same any time. I mean, actually, yes, at one point. Wow. Yes. Was your girlfriend or not your no, girlfriend? No, no girlfriend. Okay, it wasn't so a girlfriend. There was no, tie no it was my way. best friend. The guy was my best friend, though. Here's, here's what happened. happened. Yeah. Here's, here's what happened. Like From like third grade best friend? Yes, like high school best <laughs> yeah. friend. Was the girl roofied? Or was no, 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 no. We would wake up. It was consensual. It was definitely consensual. We would wake up, and a buddy of mine would be in the next bed or right next to me or whatever, and whoever we met the night before, he would be screwing her and he would direct me to mm. do something he would say put you know sit down in front of her and, yeah. and she would you know start sucking you off and the guy would be so you were directed by a friend right. that was okay yeah right yeah well, and, and like the plot of the accused <laughs> <laughs> but 
I guess, you know, uh, it did backfire a couple of times. And uh, one woman uh, went freaked out, and everybody, I wasn't there, but I just uh, was trying to calm her down. And the guy said, we'll do anything. We'll do anything you want to do. And she stopped crying, and she looked at one friend, and she says, I want to see you come in his mouth. <laughs> oh, and to whoa. this day, to hey. this day, hey. once a year, once a year, we'll all be together. And the guy who was chosen to, to suck the other guy up, he goes, why did she pick me? Why? Like that. And it bothers him to this day. That <laughs> Not he that he did it, that chosen. he was picked. He was chosen. He's like, it felt good, but that's beside the point. <laughs> no, no, he was chosen. They didn't do it. Oh, they but didn't do it. He was angry. He goes, why did she choose my mouth to have the guy come in? Why does it? Mm. Could be that he had else? a pretty face. That's, right. that's a compliment. Uh, Nick Chernoff, um, uh, is it your apartment that they're using uh, for this thing? Whose apartment? It's not my apartment, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, you people come up to the apartment and you invite people, and then then jokes start. Jokes flying. start, yeah. The jokes Those start. Yes, exactly. And it's, we use our apartment. It's me and Dan's apartment, so we do it there. Um, we do two shows a month, so one's at our apartment, and then the other we'll just find on Airbnb or rent it out, and then we'll do a big show there. So it's it's always roving around the city, like a pop up show. Mitch, would you ever go to an apartment and tell jokes to somebody's apartment if they paid me? Hmm, yeah, they got to pay out. Yeah, I just I'm yeah. all I'm all about them. I got, I have a mortgage yeah. these days. Ten, fifteen. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that. Okay, sure. yeah, let's fine. work this out. I don't think I do in foot jobs. Okay, cool. Yeah. And, and 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 just as long as you guys let me fuck my wife there. Sure. On camera. We'll do it on camera. Put it on YouTube. <laughs> I like. That. Wow. Wow. <laughs> making deals. If I rented a place out, right here. I'm working more than I ever had before. <laughs> I was a swimmer. If I if I rented a place out. And um, Airbnb, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, a bunch of like thirty people show up. I would be pissed off. Do the buildings ever? Right. right? Um, yeah. We had, so we did a show in Chinatown where we had around one hundred and twenty people. Got a lot out of control. And in an apartment. In an apartment. Yes. Uh, yeah. I don't believe there's an apartment. First of all, that doesn't have that many. You people haven't. In you know, you, you haven't lived. Yeah. You got to see what's going on there on Airbnb. But it's they're crazy. small. They're no, small. we found we found big lofts. So lofts is like no furniture inside, so you could cram them in there. So we had around 120, and at one point during the show, it was in Chinatown, so the whole building was Chinese. The landlord came down and started yelling at the owner, saying, you can't do this, all these old people live here, and you're keeping up the whole neighborhood. So I had to negotiate in half Chinese, half English with the guy as we were doing the show. That the old people could host now. Well, yeah, you know, we, we're going to deal with them. <laughs> and now the co-producers on the show. Are you saying that yeah. these... So we're moving to China. Wait, you're saying... Fly with the apartment, these... Shanghai. <laughs> the... Wait a minute. <laughs> you're saying that these unknown... Untested comedians uh -huh. go to this live app dot TV. First of all, live apt dot TV. Let's get this right for the radio. Live apt dot TV. That's the website. Yeah. Right, hold on a minute. These people go up to a room and mm -hmm. they they are so funny that the laughter is so raucous it upsets a building. Who are these comedians? We've had you know we've had good people. So on the Chinatown show we had Sushir Zamata who's on SNL. Mm -hmm. um, we've had Dan Soder, who's a really good comedian in the city. Mitch, you he's might know. He's huge him. now. Yeah. yeah, he's big. Mark Norman's done the show. Um, Jermaine Fowler. Really? Yeah, yeah. We get pretty solid. Hey, people. you know what? Hey, uh -huh. Mitch. Yes, sir. So you were you were putting it down, but there's some names. I'm oh, Mitch. Into this. Let's I mean, do it. Yeah. Do so it. then we had a show on Saturday, um, and actually had. What do you charge? Sorry, what do we charge? charge? There's one show. Uh, so for the show at our apartment, we charge twenty dollars. Um, and then for the show that we do with the big Airbnb spot, we don't charge anything. It's is free. dinner available? Is well, there there, we can hook you up. Minimum? Yeah, we, you could you could have a rider or something like that. Is we there a drink minimum? We actually free beer. Free beer. Yeah, the show is sponsored. Free beer. Dim sum. Right. Wow. Dim sum. Yeah, we can hook that up. <laughs> <laughs> we can hook that up. We got a Chinatown connection. Yeah. Um, uh, who is it, Dan or Nick? Who's trying to talk? Who? On the phone. On the phone. Hello. 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 One of you was yelling just now. I stopped it to listen to you. Now you're not talking. Which one was it? This is why they're not going to be successful, Jay. <laughs> okay, Dan, Mitch, I'll pick hurts, you. Dan, hurts, Dan, isn't it against yeah. the law to charge a uh, cabaret license or some shit? You, you get just 20 bucks and you're in an apartment? How do you do that? I don't think it's illegal. I mean... You don't think it's illegal. <laughs> you have not contacted. Don't answer that question, or... Dan. Do not answer it. <laughs> really, really. No comment. <laughs> That's what Jeffrey Dahmer said. I didn't think it was illegal. I was yeah. just, you know, eating people's skin. Um, I didn't know. Yeah, my, I, yeah, I don't know. We don't know. You know, we're tinkering on the line here. We, we, maybe it is. If it is, we don't know. It is illegal. No, we don't know. I said we don't know. We have no idea. It's not they don't pay directly for the show. It's just a friend and family thing. They're, the support they're donating when they get a show. Family. It's a donation. Really? It's a non-profit we're running, Jay. <laughs> it's a party. Yes. It's a crap party. Well, you yeah. can go to my yeah, new definitely. website. I have a new website, Kick in the Ball Starter. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, my man. Yeah, that was one. So, so you go to the, uh, uh, live at the APT, which is apartment, or live apt.tv. Yeah. And that's how you find out. Uh, where where the show right. is like, so, like tomorrow night where right. excuse me so Mitch Mitch is at uh at the Gotham Comedy Club uh -huh. what time does your thing start I don't want to like promote something I think it's no. I think it's uh, are you talking to me Mitch Fatel yeah what time it's, is I think yours? it's eight and ten are the shows I think eight and ten yeah. on Saturday and eight thirty ten thirty on uh right. and right. and yeah it will be mm -hmm. in actually the owner's apartment this time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it won't be at the actual so Gotham Comedy Club yeah, yeah. So. yeah I, I'm not going to promote your uh, apartment thing you don't need to that's okay we got plenty of people we got enough no, you people. got Mitch is here he's telling me all kind of stuff more, um, more famous no I mean, uh, you guys could be you guys could be handcuffed and taken away soon we could that's Do true you guys have a maid that comes in and cleans your apartment because there's all these strange people just um we have friends no maids it's not, no? A, not on the budget um no. we did that once um but it doesn't get too bad to be honest i think everyone's pretty respectful what about all the pee on the seat? well someone peed in the shower one time but that was okay you know goes Ooh, down the same yeah. drain what's the big deal um how would you know they did that uh because they apartment. someone saw them doing it <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone there was one time at the end of the show there was dog shit in the hallway when we left <laughs> but there was no dog at the show and we still got blamed it makes no sense how do you know it was a dog there was no dog. Yeah. Exactly. How do you know it wasn't the guy who peed? Well, I don't know. It was two different shows, actually. Um, but yeah, so how do you know about the show is the question. Well, yeah. um, so we have an yeah. email list, and we'll email people out about the location and the time. Um, and then we'll also tweet out um, our email address for people to email us. It's kind of underground, so we don't actually promote anything. But what we do do is we film the shows. So we have the links up on YouTube and up on our website. So if you went to liveapt.tv, you could also look at all the stand-up content that we film. So now, why did these uh, well-known people from Saturday Night Live and all, why would they come to this uh, yeah. apartment? Well, why, one, why it's a fun why? show. I think, as Mitch can attest, you know, there's a lot of clubs. Fun. Up. Fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Fun day. Do you know what fun is? Uh, Mitch, yeah. when you're doing stand up comedy, it's fun, but so it's your all, job. No, I get you're it. all in your head at the club and stuff like that. Yeah. In New York, people yeah. are having comedy shows at like sushi delis. Exactly. It's everywhere. You're, you exactly. know what, Christina? You're a pizza eater. You're okay. not a comedian. You. This is about I'm not work. saying I'm a comedian, no, but I go work. to a lot of Mitch, comedy shows. Listen, I know Mitch, I would why do would it somebody go to Because they have my wife hostage. I would do it. You know, that's the reason I can see. But yeah, no, I think I think part of it is also doing something different. You know, it's it's unique and yeah, we get unique. yeah it's unique and we get a good crowd we get a crowd that's not necessarily super comedy fans like they wouldn't necessarily go to a club but when you bring them to something like this which is like half house party and half comedy show i think they become mm -hmm. more interested and they turn into comedy you have a lot of homeless people coming to watch yeah show? it's like 30 percent <laughs> homeless 30 are there any seats uh, right. for, or are they sitting on your couch uh well uh we actually have milk crates that we turn upside down uh, from bodegas and we use those as seats Excellent. so christina uh we're gonna have to send christina for free that'd be great uh, one of these we'll give her a these. vip a milk crate that's no problem the next yeah. time jay's right. in new york he's gonna be like look up those apartment comedy guys yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go. Go. Well, well, we could do it. Yeah. yeah, I would want to go fun, to watch. So, yeah, I'd, I'd go to see it. Yeah, oh, all right. Right. Okay, we yeah, got one go. fan. There we go. Yeah. He'll go to see it, but yeah. he won't promote it. Okay, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much, you guys. Uh, for those who are interested in in uh, in seeing this uh, apartment comedy, it's uh, it's apt. How do you? What, so it's live apt TV. Is uh, you can follow us on Twitter at live apt, right. or you can check us out on YouTube at youtube.com backslash live apt. And we yes. also have a really great web series up there. It's a scripted web series called Charles, by the way. So we also produce scripted content as well as the stand up. So go check it out. Your guys promo you know, they're, promo. They're like, no, you're like. <laughs> You're like producer guys that are gonna, you know, you know, public uh, display of perversion. It's available yeah. on iTunes. <laughs> I tell you what, we're gonna go away. That's my one we'll chance. I'm serious. I had to do something, man. I gotta no, get no, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna go away. We're gonna go away. When we come back, the apartment guys will be gone. No, and yes, they I'm will. never leaving. Well, you can, you can listen, but they're gonna do Mitch, a show right here in the studio. That's right. Uh, uh, Mitch <laughs> Fatel. Mitch Fatel. Before he leaves, will either speak to his wife. Yeah, my wife is available. To talk. Or he'll have to tell us why Duck Dynasty is showing people uh, how to have strong marriages. We'll be right back. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Jay Thomas. A great way to waste three hours. The Afternoon Drive Show. On Indy. Sirius XM. Indy. I get recognized everywhere I go now. It's so cool. I was walking in the club before, and this girl freaked out. She's like, oh, my God, I saw you on TV. I was like, oh, my God, I can have sex. Because <laughs> I get happy when I'm having sex. Some guys, when they have sex, they get violent. 
He's like, you take it in the ass, bitch. <laughs> Not me. I get very happy when I'm having sex. I'm always like, thank you very much, miss. Your vagina has done a swimmingly good job. You definitely get a free Mitch Fatel CD when we're done. Sometimes girls can't have sex with you, though, because they get their periods. And that makes me sad. I get down in the dumps. I was with this girl once, she was on her period, she's like, I don't care if you don't care. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> and after five minutes, I was like, I think I'm starting to care a little. <laughs> Are you going to reimburse me for my comforter? Or? Pretty sure my homeowner's insurance doesn't cover that. <sighs> Guess I can't call my cat Snowball anymore. <laughs> Here, candy cane. Here, candy cane. <laughs> yes, you're a festive little pussy, aren't you? You're ready for Christmas. You have to humiliate for what? It's fun. It's the Jay Thomas Show. Afternoon. Indy. Sirius XM. Indy. Mitch Fatel is uh, back in New York uh, in our studios with Christina and Garrett. Go to MitchFatel.com. Gotham Comedy Club this weekend. And uh, on iTunes or the CD, public display of perversion. And we have uh, been discussing uh, how Mitch married a woman. They both they both swing, and and I, I guess you realize, Mitch, that as soon as you leave, we will talk behind your back. We're in show business, why wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, but we've been. I'm not me and joking. Garrett have been talking behind your back, yeah. and apparently you're not a good boss. But uh, anyway, we'll talk later about that. No, but what's weird is we. I'm not. Jo we will be. We'll talk behind your back and say how horrible it is. No, no, you will. How sad. And we'll it have is. to agree Garrett with you to make you feel. No, better. you don't have to agree with. And shit. then you I don't and even... I will talk behind his back about. Isn't he fucking crazy? <laughs> well, yeah, well, no, <laughs> you're the biggest fucking square ever, pizza ass. <laughs> no, I think Christine actually wants to get involved so with us. Why are you being so mean to me all of a sudden? Are you trying to put on? No, because make... you're. An impression you're, you're, on you're, Mitch no, by being rude you're to ass me? kissing. You're ass kissing. Ass kissing. No, you're ass kissing wife. Mitch. No, so but that I can she's... sleep with his wife. If you did that, I'm totally not going to do. That. You could do it for yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Just experience it and then talk and report back yeah. about what it was yes. like. That yeah. way you don't you know talk behind our back. Listen to you two idiots. For the show. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah, for the show. Hey, Christina. What? And then you'd have the stain. Of that type of sex on you forever, mm, yep. for life. Ooh, and I'd lick the it. Scarlet letter. Lick oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have to be careful? Uh, have you met a woman who liked you, and then you go, "Oh, I like you too"? But by the way, my wife's going to be involved, and we're going to do a a thing, and the woman uh, demures from that. That's oh, really a good question, and it did recently happen where a girl came on to me in San Diego, and she was very hot. And I normally would not turn a girl like that down before I was married. Uh, I'd never turned down a girl, and I said, oh, I can't. I'm married, but my wife would love you. And she said, okay, uh, I'll come visit you guys and, you know, have Jessica call me. And I got, and I got so excited, I called Jess, and I said, da-da-da. And then the girl just ignored us. So she just was, you know, she was bullshitting to try. I think she wanted me to have sex with her, thinking that if, I, if she said she'd have sex with my wife, she'd kind of, because I've learned, and Jay, you probably notice this too, that it, it, there's nothing that gets a girl who's used to getting uh, any guy she wants more excited than not wanting her. Oh they, my God! Then they push. I've used that my whole life. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so uh, this girl got really started texting me constantly, saying, "I'm down mm -hmm. to fuck. Let's just do it, and then we'll meet with your wife later." And I was like, "I don't do anything without my wife." And uh, and then she said, okay, and then I told my wife, and I told Jessica I was honest. I said, you know, this girl did come on to me and say she wanted me to fool around without you, and Jess was like, yeah, what do I give a shit, like, as long as she's hot. Like, Jess is fine with that, because she knows that I'm not going to cheat on her, and she knows I would never leave her, because she's the most kick-ass chick ever, so... Uh, so that did happen, and then she, and then Jess got in touch with her and was like, "Hey, I heard you want to hook up with us," and she's like, "Yeah," uh, and then just never, never showed up, like never called or anything again. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What happened. a life you live. <laughs> it's fascinating. You can't talk behind my back because there's, there's nothing, there's nothing bad about this. It's wonderful. A Tennessee couple uh, was getting kinky with a giant a, a gummy bear. 
um, Michael and Josie of, uh, I can't say their last names, of Clarksville, uh, got uh, hot in the bedroom, and he was drizzling his girl's chest with a melted five-pound candy. And she went right to the uh, emergency room. Ugh. Yeah, the the yeah. Uh, when you're in that moment, you don't think said said Michael uh, that that bad stuff can happen. Have you done that? Have you melted something or done something and it and it caused harm or accident? You know, like oh, we didn't. No, I've heard a couple hurt. of girls with the sheer size of my penis, but I don't know if that's you know. I mean, they have had to be rushed to the hospital. <laughs> but um, now they've now, had Garrett a smile Andrews, on their face the whole time. Do you think that Mitch Fatel and his wife Jessica? We'll be married for a long, long time and into the future. Do you think? You can be honest. I hope so. The only thing that sounds to me is, like, I've been in a situation where you're so head over heels in love with someone, and then that person just, for some reason, it turns off in them, and then you don't know how to get them back or how to win them over again. Or Right. I, I've been in situations like that. We've been together like, five years now, you know. I mean, this isn't I mean, some fly-by-night operation. I just, hope, you know, I hope I just picked the wrong people in my relationships mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I hope it all works out. Have you ever been on Loveline with Dr. Drew? No, but oh, I wonder what we're going to do a better that. version of that, me and Jess. That's our future plan. Oh, we're cool. going to do a version for people that want people who really do experience like fun stuff. Not sixteen-year-olds that tried anal sex for the first time. Why well, you got to make this all hot and sexy? Now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were Christina, do you think now. that uh, Mitch and Jessica will will be together for the long term? Yeah, I do. I don't think it's possible for them to get bored of each other. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. wow. Well, let's bring Jessica in. Jessica, welcome. It's me, Jay Thomas. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Hi, Monkey Face. Wow. Oh, Hello. How cute. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's been telling you. Only good stuff. Here. Everything. Okay. Everything. We've been talking about it all. And, you know, on some level, um, he loves telling it, and, and both of you love it, too. So you're both voyeurs. I mean, you enjoy yeah. seeing it, looking at it. It's okay. Uh, Jessica, have you ever been, like, embarrassed or got tired of, of, of talking about swinging? Uh, no. I mean, I, I don't necessarily bring it up over dinner with my mom or anything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But but we um, swing with her mom, so <laughs> we, we think your mom. He was thinking your mom might be a swinger, or was. Yeah. Well, I I actually think that they did have some experiences a long time ago. My mom said something really weird uh, about a year or two ago. Um, I was standing in the kitchen with her and my sister cooking, and I don't know how we got on the subject, but my mom said something about some parties that we, some people's house we used to go to when I was a little kid, and I remember the house. She said that while the kids were downstairs playing, she said some of the grown-ups would go upstairs and, and mess around. She said, but I was never into that. Which means she was into it. Which, it, wow. yeah, every time my mom tells you something that she's done but it wasn't for her or that she would have done except she, you know, ended up not, I, I'm pretty sure she did it. It's so, the I didn't inhale argument. It, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. Now, what did, the, what did the drunk she's married to say about that? <laughs> hey, hey, I wouldn't have married a fucking whore like that. That's what I say, God damn. I beat the fuck out of you and the other motherfucker. No. He actually doesn't get... Be, I was a stepdad. I was a drunken stepfather, and that's how I acted. He actually doesn't get... He's not a mean drunk. He's a quiet drunk. Yeah, he just he, passes out on the chair. Oh. Or or he'll give you the silent treatment if he gets upset. Like It's it's much better than bashing your head in. <laughs> Does he ever cut a fart that sounds like this? Plumbo. <laughs> no, not that I've heard. Christina's last name sounds like a bubble fart. Palumbo. 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 Christina's well, a producer, Jessica. honey, and she wants you. She's hot, wants and she you wants badly. you. And she wants us to have sex in front of her so she can report back to the show. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I wanted... Have you ever no, seen no, a penis with it. age spots? Have, Jessica, have you ever seen a penis with age spots on it? <laughs> no, I, and I don't yeah. want to. Sorry. You know what? It, it looks like snake eyes. Just again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait. I guess I'll need a picture. Wow. Ooh, dick no, I do not fun. send pictures. No of more dick penis. pics, please. Hey, you know what, Christina? Do you have the picture of me from uh, uh, that all I sent you up. yesterday? Yep. I do. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got a picture of me all beefed up. Hey, you Jay. Seen me a long time, this is yeah. uh, this is Sarah from Staten Island. Uh, yeah. And I have to say, I saw the picture and. It was, it was nice. What are you to... doing in the she, fucking studio? <laughs> over She's it. having sex with me right now yeah. for my wife to watch. <laughs> Wait a second. What, I what can't are you watch. doing? In the We're studio? having. I'm a sending swing you video, party. honey. I'm sending you a Skype <laughs> of me, <laughs> me and her. Well, okay. Sarah, you know what? Uh, she's from oh, Staten Island, and she's looking for something to have. She's cute. She's real cute. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. very. I think cute. My wife would like you. I, I she teaches at the yeshiva, by the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> she teaches at the yeshiva. And, 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 and fuck I'm you, a, do I have to put a yarmulke on? And I'm a on? volunteer <laughs> firefighter, too, so wow. I can bring the, the bunker gear, you know. Oh, now it's a costume? Nice. Really? You know what? She, she has nice. a hose. Did you hear her? She said nice. Hey, you know something, Garrett? Even though they're not paying for plane fare anymore, I, I would come back on my own nickel for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would normally wait until they fly me back, you know, comp. But I would. Uh, so if you guys want to stick around, I have nowhere else to go. So uh, uh, it's the new 102, the Jay Thomas Show, Mitch Fatin. The Jay Thomas Show. Afternoon. Jesus. What idiots. Indy. Sirius XM. Indy. I can't remember ever uh, uh, saying this, <clears throat> but if you uh, have missed missed the first two hours of the show, you missed uh, quite a thing here. Um, Mitch Fatel uh, comes on, a great comic, and talks about being at the uh, Gothic uh, Gotham, Gotham comic, comedy club there in New York, and uh, his uh, iTunes a public display of perversion of the CD, and then we start talking about his um, you know a swinger lifestyle. Then his wife uh, Jessica. Uh, is here, and then all of a sudden, this uh, bisexual yeshiva teacher shows up. Uh, wow! Yeah, it's Hi, crazy. Yeah, my dad's listening. And Jay, just so you know, my dad sent me a text message today because he knew that I was coming up, and he's like, "You better tell Jay to behave himself." So thanks. We're gonna play some naked dreidel later. <laughs> behave himself. Yeah. He should have told you to behave yourself. <laughs> tell tell your dad that when I have you, I'm gonna do it in front of him. Oh, God. <laughs> But he's gonna, oh, but he's gonna, oh, but he's gonna do it with the hurt. Torah right there. So no, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna have my. He's gonna dive over you. Know, you. <laughs> you know, I, I, I travel with, uh, with some people, and we'll break into your father's home, and we will. You'll act like you're a hostage, but you won't be. It's kind of hot. And and we will do it right in front of your dad, oh and God. then wish him happy birthday. Oh, that's nice. You're awesome. Yeah, we have a barbaric. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Jessica, some some interesting questions were being uh, talked about. One of them, uh, and Sarah, you can go back over them again as if they weren't talked about. The reason you you'd be worried that there would be jealousy, uh, and and you would lose your uh, husband or boyfriend to somebody else they were swinging with, right? Uh, uh, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Oh yeah, I don't think I personally would never be able to do that. I'm way too jealous of a person. Yeah, but you could get over that because jealousy is just made up in your head, and that's kind of like a disease that you have to overcome. Like that's what I've overcome, and I found that heroin does it for me. <laughs> I, I've never been in a threesome. I, it's something that I've considered, and yeah. I just think I feel like I'll consider it tonight. I, want, oh, I wow. think your dreams are going to come true really soon. Yeah. Uh, hey, get Mary O on the phone, uh, Christina. We'll see if she. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Jessica, sight unseen, can you tell by uh by Sarah's uh, voice if she's um you know a candidate for swinging? <laughs> well, I don't think the voice is a determining factor. <laughs> We're not gonna be fucking yeah. her voice, Jay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jay, my dad just texted me, bring it, Jay. <laughs> That's so wow. disgusting. Yeah, no wonder you're should... fucked up. Your dad, your dad fucked you up. I think her dad texting her is actually gonna be harder, which is <laughs> oh weird. My God. <laughs> hey, uh, Jessica, uh, you were uh, you were a stripper, and everything we know about you know uh, everybody read about or heard about. Uh, they had some horrible thing happen to them, and that makes them become a stripper, and they really hate men. And the next thing you know, you're swinging and everything else. Uh, <laughs> were, were you were you brought to it by some uh, negative uh, thing in your life, and now you've accepted it? I mean, is that is that how you got to the sport? Well, I I think that any any girl who didn't have a good dad growing up tends to you know w w or would be a good candidate for stripping because um, I think any girl who had a good dad, a good relationship with her dad, who was proud of her and, you know, was supportive of her in a, in a healthy way, I don't think that she could ever dance. I or, think she'd be worried about letting dad down. That's true. Or any girl yeah. whose uh, dad texts them while they're on the Jay Thomas show. <laughs> that, that right. Girl, That's a good candidate. That girl could who who just came from the yeshiva <laughs> kindergarten. I did not uh, come from yeshiva kindergarten. Thank you. She looks like a good girl, Jess. I don't think she'd be interested in us. <laughs> So, but I, yeah, I definitely came from like. Oh you know, my like, God. Oh, my, hey, Garrett. Oh my God. What a fucking come on that was. Yeah. She wouldn't be interested yeah. in us. She's a good girl. Yeah. He's yeah. doing that thing that guys do that he's talked about before. We bet just your pretend, ass. like, 
you pretend like uh, whatever, and then we come crawling back. No, yeah, no, I'm being serious. Like we like dirt. Like me and just like dirty girls that yeah. like are have like issues, and you know afterwards are kind of like confused and crying and texting their ex in the bathrooms. And stuff. No, that's, that's probably not, that's me, not to be honest with you. Wow, that's happened a few times, yeah, a few but that's times. not what we go out looking for. That's no, horrible. but that's what we wind up bringing back to the apartment. Because nothing gets you rock hard like a crying girl. No, no, bed. not crying. It has to be just a girl that's got a little bit like the fantasy member Jay. I was talking about the role playing it, it, yeah jessica's always got to be like like i never want jessica to play nor do we are we interested in any girls that are being coerced to do things we just like girls who are doing things because they are just don't even realize that what they're doing is probably wrong <laughs> wow yeah it sounds so lecherous it's not this is not it's how manipulative it. it sounds very manipulative it does uh, i don't yeah. think it that's does. okay you know what in the movies people like you and mitch are always portrayed as kind of evil yeah, but we're so not me. Mitch we're makes so it sound evil. He's evil. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're evil. I, no. I always, you become mature on listen, stage and evil in real once life. The, once we're done with the girl, I always give her cab fare. How is that evil? I mean, come well, on. you're right. Now, Mitch, great. after you come, are you interested for her to leave? No, quickly? no, I'm... I'm interested in watching. Je what I really like is watching Jess and the girl snuggle. Like that to me is really cute. I, wow. I'm not in it for the sex. I'm in it for the in, for the experience. Uh, the sex is never that big a deal to me. Coming is coming. <laughs> it's more the whole experience and watching Jess kind of interact with the girl and talking. You mean to talking her. her down? She's crying and the makeup's <laughs> yeah. running. And telling what is that, going on in this house? Telling her that she won't get pregnant. That I'm. I have. Uh, you know that I use the condoms. Just stuff like that. Is this the beginning of wow. like an SVU episode? Like <laughs> uh, special. <laughs> you remember, how, remember how you said we sounded cute a little while ago? Not so much right now. Yeah. No. Do you, have, no. do you have any precautions to protect yourself afterward? Like, I know some comedians... I'd have a loaded fucking gun in the room if I had strangers. No, no, no. but, like, some comedians will walk the girl out through the lobby in the hotel so they're on camera. The, the girls the girl want looking nice. There's, ne nice. there's never a girl that didn't want to hang out with us again. We're just, oh, we're fun. Well, what about, like, STDs and stuff? You're not worried, like, if you Well, we have them all, so it's yeah. not really, like, yeah. <laughs> we don't really have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> no, we, we only use protection. Safe sex. So, yeah. We practice safe sex. Your dad will be happy yeah. to hear that. Text oh, him. Jesus. Text him about that. <laughs> wow. Let him know you'll be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I, I ate so much pussy in college, my girlfriend got gingivitis. <laughs> Thank you. That's down, so gross. Th down there. You know what I mean? That's my What is that? The sugar, there. not the carbohydrate? That's down the there. Sugar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to figure out the biology of that, how that Well, that's a joke. Works. That's a joke. Hey, honey, uh, Jay Thomas says that we have to watch, because I told him we watched Son of, uh, Son of, Sons of Anarchy and Game of Thrones. He said we have to watch the show he's in, which is called Ray Donovan. Have you ever heard of it? No. Yeah, we have to On watch Showtime. it. On Showtime. Well, there are pictures everywhere. They're, it's, it's huge. It's, 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 uh, Liev Schreiber is the star with John Voight. Hmm. Um, oh, okay, I saw that the other day. I yeah, saw there are really pictures bad. everywhere. You'll like it. Hey, can you You'll introduce, like Jake, can you introduce Jessica to John Voight's daughter? Because he is a... <laughs> John Voight's daughter? I don't Nina? think... She doesn't... They don't think they they talk. And, you know, she's had quite a life. And then she made out with her brother and stuff. But, you see, I think she's not... In, everybody's talking about how sexy she is. She's now into saving the world. Yeah, and once. Boring. A once a woman finds something else to do, the Agreed. first thing that goes out the window is the sex. I don't know why that Jess, is. Je that's just his fantasy girl. Is uh, that's who Jess wants more uh, yeah, than anyone? Well, she's gorgeous. I think I don't think there's a, a face as beautiful as that out there. I just I don't think she's, she's gorgeous. Gore you can go back and watch movies of her when she was really young, mm -hmm. and she has those you know those dark circles under the eyes. Well, she you was know? on heroin back then. That's hot. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah, yeah. it was the yeah. heroin, which oh, okay. would have been great for my role playing. <laughs> She's a little too skinny for me. She's well, too skinny. I, I actually what would you have her do? Get a turkey baster, pretend she was shooting up I think, with a turkey I think, baster? <laughs> Body-wise, she needs to get in the gym and eat more food. I think that would actually help her. But that, that face, though, I just, I can't. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, just Look, like I, I've been around actresses my entire life, and I'm going to tell you, they're not in to anything other than themselves and the <laughs> acting. And a lot of actors are like that. But it, the more, the, like, like, Somebody tell me what is wrong with Jennifer Aniston because there is something yeah, I agree. definitely wrong there. Yeah, I agree. She is really nice. I've been in her company. She's very nice. She truly is beautiful. 
She's immensely wealthy. She is talented, and, and I've never heard anything bad about her. We're all figuring there has to be an odor or there's got to be something because Penis. look at the line of guys yeah. that decided not to be with her. True. And now the new guy, now that he's got a television show, he doesn't even need her anymore, you know. Um, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? I don't it, think she's got a lot of sexuality to her. If you watch the shows where she's playing a stripper, she's not very good at it. Like that Miller's yeah. show, the Meet the Millers. Yeah, it was very non-sexual. The only, it, oh. although horrible bosses, I guess she got a. She was sexy yeah. in horrible bosses, yeah. She was. Yeah, but, she just but that's sexy. acting. Yeah, that's yeah. acting. Yeah. Well, what about the one uh, when uh, Vince Vaughn played the videos, and, and they in real life were a couple, and they were were breaking up, and it was a movie about them right. breaking up, which was weird. It was called the break. She would, she would walk around. <laughs> Yeah, she would walk around the house naked and trying to get him excited. And yeah. oh my living God, you know, she's got uh, a great but body. It is, but you know what? It's a body that's for you know showbiz. I see uh, uh, Sandra Bullock, and she lives in New Orleans. I see her walking around the neighborhood, and she does not look very happy. I think she's a terrific. She was actress. married to Jesse James. What do you expect? How weird was that? Yeah. And then she was with the the tattoo lady. I mean. It is it is an odd thing. Showbiz, Jessica, might be a little bit for women like stripping. It might be. I agree. Hey, I agree I with that. that. Yeah. Well I think I think it's like that for men too though. I think show business is ideal for anyone who's looking to have a whole feel uh, filled. Uh, you could take that wrong. Um yeah. but I mean I think it's for anybody that's looking to like get approval from outside themselves because something happened with them growing up that they don't feel good enough unless other people are telling them they are. Thanks, honey. Yeah. No, it's exactly, uh, well, <laughs> case in point. <laughs> well, you know what's yeah. funny? I come from a very supportive family, but when I got outside, people made fun of me and said stuff to me. Yet when I was back home, my mom and dad and my brother thought I was, you know, going to be a big star. And so I was always angry at at the population. Mm -hmm. I wasn't angry at my family. And people say, oh, that can't be true. I go, it is true. I was revered in my house and then you go outside and people hey you big mouth big ears whatever the fuck it was yeah and so yeah that they i was motivated by the shit that happened to me you know in the street yeah you know because my parents always said i was going to be in show business and my brother to this day is my best audience well it's so. interesting because my parents thought i was going to fail horribly they really? want, they wanted me to. Yeah, I I had a mom and dad who thought what I was going after was stupid, and I just wanted to prove them wrong. And hmm. then one day I got where I was, and I was like, wow, they were right. I was like uh, more miserable than I was. Like that's when being married now and just having this comfortable life with Jess, where we fuck strippers, is <laughs> is actually to me a lot more uh, satisfying than show business ever was. And I think that's why I'm funnier on stage now because I don't really give a shit about it as much anymore. I don't need to be wow. famous, you know. But you know you've done well. I mean, you're you're a working comedian. Yeah. You make enough money to you know pay your bills and and have a life and all yeah. like that. Are your parents proud of you now? Do they think you did do well, or were they my, rather my you mom only on? My mom only cried once when she, I did Letterman. She didn't cry. I did Leno twenty times. She didn't cry. <clears throat> Just tell her the the only time she ever cried when Mitch got a BMW. Jewish mom. Wow. She literally, she yeah. was like, oh, my yeah. God. I, I tell you what, uh, I let her go on demand and hear this show. She'll cry again. <laughs> no, they think she'll shoot herself. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Chris of Carlsbad. Uh, yes, Chris, oh, yeah. it's the, it's a, it's a brand new, uh, uh, we're, we're not, this won't be the same, the show every day, but we have uh, Mitch Fatel, his lovely wife, Jessica. They are avowed uh, swingers. It's changed his life, certainly. Uh, Jessica came with uh, a tremendous credentials and has turned, uh, uh, his life around. And then Mitch will be at the Gotham uh, Comedy Club in New York all weekend long. And public display of perversion is on iTunes and it's a CD. Chris of Carlsbad, go ahead. Hey, Jay, one time I set up an ex-girlfriend of mine with my lesbian cousin. Yeah. And um, what started out as 15 minutes of curious perversion for me it ended up in a 13-year relationship for them. They ended up together. For 13 years. <laughs> nice. Well, you're a matchmaker. And Very nice. In the beginning, I tried to win her back, my ex-girlfriend, and I just told <laughs> to tell the day my, my cousin drove me to, a, to an adult video store once, and... She uh, proceeded to buy a 12-inch black man dingo dildo strap-on. 
and I had to give up. But you know, I couldn't compete with that. Wow. A black man's dildo like it was attached to a black man? Is that what you said? No, no, you can buy them in the, you know. No, I didn't know yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you can also buy them in other, in other colors. I, I don't think it is. Out. Never heard well, of thank you. What a heartwarming story, Chris. Were you able to find uh, someone else that, uh, that you know, you got over your lesbian love? Uh, yeah, I haven't been married, but uh, two years before I was with her, I was with her cousin. And that, wow. that ended up being the, the nastiest pussy I ever ate. Really, that's nice. Do you have um? Do you have any any children uh, that have like fingers on their toes? You're you very that cultured, kind of... man. Yeah, you are. Well, thank you. you know, yeah, and Carlsbad, by the way, is where the bats fly at night, isn't it? They come out of the the, the, the Carlsbad caverns, correct? They're you lesbian know, bats. California. Yeah, right. All right, thank you very much, Chris. Wow. Now I've had a couple of guys, Jessica, buddies of mine, married for a long time. And the wives uh, left them for a for a woman, mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem to be as much about sex as it is. And the the women that they met were life coaches, so they were being coached. <laughs> Wonderful and then people, they, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. They're horrible people, yeah. and I think it's the dumbest thing in the world. I, the other day, I saw a psychic life coach sign yeah. in New York. Um, is that what a woman's looking for? Just someone to talk to her, and, and if it's another woman, it's a you know. I, okay. I don't know, and, and I'd be the last person in the world to leave for a woman because I can't stand them. So, oh, same yeah. here. Yeah, she, she wants does. them to shut their mouth and just fuck I off. I don't think I'd ever be able to be in a relationship with oh, a woman. God, but, you're but, but you like licking them. I like, yeah, I like licking them, and I like the fun part. And I, and I actually have discovered, because I, I did meet a girl on Tinder, which I decided we would, you know, see yeah, someone. Yeah, we've been having sex with her. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and she's actually a lesbian. She would let me just, like, do, you know, some stuff. And she... Um, a beautiful girl and Gorgeous. just, but, 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 you know, wrought with drama because, because apparently this is how lesbians are and just tons and tons mm. of drama and just a very high maintenance person. So mm. definitely not like, I, I've decided like, you know, it, I definitely couldn't be in a relationship with a girl. I think guys are, and especially Mitch, because Mitch is great to talk to. I don't think most guys are. I'm so very feminine. I'm a very feminine male. Yeah. He, he's very sensitive. Do, do you like make, uh, do you make, uh, food for the encounter, Mitch? Do I? You, is there food? Is there, uh, no, what can I expect? No, no. Yeah, we're we're we're. At Sarah's already stuff. there, by the way. She's already in your apartment I'm eating in, a sandwich. I'm walking. She's already eating a. I'm yeah. walking in. What do I see? Uh, some yeah. matzo. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> matzo. Oh God. Yeah, yeah she's we'll she's some, a yeshiva teacher. Some manischewitz. The fish, maybe. Yes, yeah, yeah, and, and yamakas <laughs> turned over with chips in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, dip in baby yamakas. Condoms that have the Star of David on the end, so uh, as a wow. cock ring, and um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll eat. I mean, we'll order out. I mean, we're doing other things, Jay. We're not sitting around talking about politics with food. We're we're no, normally uh, normally the girl stays over, and like the mm. next day, we all just kind of lay around watching movies, pizza. And order pizza, and stuff. Yeah. It's very it's very Is there fun. breakfast. Prepared? Hey, Garrett, you and I the same thing. We're not staying the next day. No, There's I'm no out next... that night. I'm yeah, sorry. Sorry. no, you want to cuddle There's with no... us, Sarah? Believe me, well, you want to stay. You would want to stay with. Awesome. Yeah. Do you make breakfast for me in the morning? It costs or? extra. I would, right. I would make breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pancake. Wow. Actually, that's how wow. Jessica first, me and Jessica started as a one-night stand, and, and I was cuddling her too much, and she's like, you're freaking me out. This is weird. And she said, but my ex-husband just left, so if you want to stay over and cuddle me all night, I'll make you breakfast tomorrow, and then we can just go our separate ways. And she made me this huge breakfast, and I said, I'm never leaving, and I haven't left in five years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yes. Has the ex-husband ever come back and and um, and had a face-off with you two? No, he tried he to never, get her back after a couple months, but yeah, he realized he, he lost. Yeah, he called, but then he called crying and was still like with the the girl that he left for, and so yeah. it was a it was a very interesting situation. And and I, the idea that the thought that he thought he had a chance of getting back with me was very interesting. But Mitch is Mitch is a very good match and a very good mate, so there was absolutely no way. Yeah, Once we, you're with Mitch, you won't go back. Oh, wow, babe, what a nice thing to wow. say. Yeah, well, Jessica, <laughs> thank you He's very really much. I love my wife. Uh, it's <laughs> unbelievable. You need a reality show on some channel. I don't know what channel it is, uh, but you need you need something. And you, your advice givers, uh, pussy eaters, dick suckers. It's just you don't get that combo. Maybe too we long. can take the Ray Donovan time slot on Showtime. <laughs> you might, maybe you could. I heard that yeah, asshole. Not yeah, <laughs> ass lickers. Everything you can do it all. We do it all. We do it all. Hey, Jay, don't you produce shows? Can't you get this going? Yeah, Jay. You, you know what? Yeah. It would be a specific channel. Um, uh, it would have to be, you know, late at night, and so that limits you. And then it, uh, as 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 much as they want, they've got a woman having uh, babies in the 
in the jungle now. What is it? Uh, you know, uh, what is it naked called? Naked and afraid or something? <clears throat> naked and afraid. Two naked people get together and they are in the woods together and all. But they they really need a show on a channel that is real and you see penises and maybe you see yeah. the sex and everything else. It would be a big hit. We're going to be no huge. no network would run it. Yeah, we we would no network. We, we actually, yeah. the people at E! Entertainment wanted to give us a job. Uh, they wanted to give us a show. And they said, we can't because we won't be able to sell any ad space for it. And we said, well, what about the Girls Next Door show? And they said, that makes no money for us. We just have it on to lead into some of the other stuff. What is the Girls Next Door about? What is that? It's that, the, that was the, Hugh Hefner was like the three Hugh girls Hefner, he was living yeah. with for a while. Yeah, but that was boring. Well, it's still naked girls, and you know, half naked. It was interesting. The first season was interesting because no one really. You watched that? I watched. I watched too. Yeah, that was a great show. Thing. I have to say, they teach really? that yeshiva yeah. these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean about Hugh Hefner at the mansion with the yeah, with the yeah. Yeah. And he's, yeah. he's eighty-eight years old. And no all that one shit. had ever really seen what it was like there, right. so that was like the first, you know. Right. I think that you've never been invited to the Playboy Mansion. You know, I. I haven't. I think I was just just before I met Jess. I think I met someone that said I could go, mm -hmm. and then me and Jess were saying, "Oh, we should try to go," and then that never transpired for some reason. Yeah. But no, wow. I, I'd love to go, and I'd love to watch Jess hook up with the playmates and stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I. You know what? I don't know. You know, Hugh Hefner is probably completely out of it. Oh, and he's gone. Just yeah. Propping him up, yeah, he's gone. but you know, I thought it was bad when his daughter, who was really cool, uh, left the presidency of his company. Yeah. yeah, yeah. From what I hear, though, that they don't make any money because of his lifestyle. It costs a lot to keep all that bullshit up. And no well, one's and buying then, those magazines anymore. I mean, no, yeah. and they're yeah. not online. Well, so. me and Justin well, moving on. We're actually invited to Donald Sterling's house next week. So yeah. <laughs> that's what we're going to see. Nice. What happens. I'm going to bring him juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Jessica, thank you. Uh, Mitch Fatel, a uh, Gotham Comedy Club, and then uh, iTunes and everywhere you want to go. Oh, and if people want to see a perversion, yeah. A picture of my wife. You can go to Facebook dot com slash Dirty Dirty Show, which is our uh, our site, and uh, and then also Facebook dot com slash Mitch Fatel if you just want to see some pictures of me. How do you uh, plan your you have gigs on your site up to 2015 already? I'm a very successful stand-up comedian. But I didn't know comedians did it that far ahead. Of, well, they don't know I'm coming there yet. I oh, just put just it on my site. <laughs> and, like hope, and, <laughs> and, hope and, and you you have stopped um, masturbating. I have not masturbated in three and a half years, Jay. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you better watch out, sir, because if you rub up against me on the way out, I'll come all over myself. <laughs> and you and you did that to have more um, uh, energy and semen uh, to save for your wife you know, and others. Not only that, I know it's going to sound controversial, but I think it's a form of cheating, masturbating. I think you're just cheating with yourself on your partner. It's kind of keeping them out of something. But what if you're thinking about your partner? Isn't that I, guys are never thinking about their partner? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's bull. No, 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 that's yeah. bullshit. In my that. flip cards, my wife actually comes up about every nine times. <laughs> Oh, well, so there'll be go. this person, yeah. that person, this person, and then your wife. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just keep flipping through. Men have flip yeah. cards. Your wife comes up right after Donald Sterling. <laughs> no, <it's absolutely> right <laughs> and in she's there. She's doing right his laundry. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Well, look, Jessica. Thank you very much, uh, Mitch Fatel. Good luck this Jay, weekend. Love doing the show. Thank you for all your. Yeah. Help. Anytime. Nice we're we're available to you. Uh, I am going to. Um, uh, Go away for a couple of minutes, but we will uh, absolutely come back. And, and Sarah from the Yeshiva is in our studio with Christina. Now, now, Sarah, you'd probably like to have an affair with Christina, wouldn't you? Um, no, she's she's not really my type. No offense. She's not into I it I think either. she's very pretty, but Jay just asked yeah. me if I wanted to have an affair with you. Oh, I'm too prude for that. She likes dirty girls. Sarah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah you're, you look too you look too much like a good girl. Garrett, let's yeah. let them sort it out for the oh, next dear. few moments. All right. The change. I mean, that guy's whole life is um, the swinger world. I mean, that's wild. Uh, but don't you think you at know, any time his wife can be like... I'm bored on moving on. Like, I feel like he's so attached to her, but yes. she didn't seem to have the same devotion to him. Like, she loves him and everything, but he seemed like he was, you know, like, tied to her, and she was like, 
No, I disagree. I mean, huh? they were like really cute when they were talking to each other, you know, during the commercial. They were, but things he said made it sound like he's like obsessed with her. I don't and think she's so. just like in love with him. I think he really loves her, and he, right. well, yeah. but I, I, I'm the I only hope. one in the room that was like, I didn't say anything. I don't think a marriage could last with that. No, I, I said that. It, 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 the reason why it, what's weird is, is as much as we'd like all that to be true, um, and people go, well, what about people that fuck around, um, you know, uh, on their husband, on their wife, or whatever. For some reason, that illicit thing that happens, and I, I call it, you know, masturbating with a friend or whatever, unless you fall in love and it gets complicated. But that seems to be what humans enjoy more than saying, oh, yeah, I have these desires. Let's let's do them and let's let everybody know I'm doing them. There's something weird about humans. We'd rather sneak around and be weird then have everybody know it. We we like to protect our reputation. Does yeah, but doesn't sense? the sneaking around ma make it more like <laughs> like hot? Like, isn't that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of ruined it by you're going to go over there and you know, I mean, it'd be fun, but I would I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. I find that lifestyle to be totally fucking weird. I don't want STDs or anything, man. I'm fucking clean. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's a consideration, but the when reality you're just meeting is meeting a random girl on Tinder. I mean, you know, she could have anything. I know, I know. I mean, the wife Mitch is into a Mitch is into watching his wife. He's still a porn guy. She's a porn star, except he's in the room with her. Good for him. Then he lucked out. Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah, yeah I guess he. Do you think he lucked out? You don't Karen? secretly think? I hope so. It's hmm. not, you know, it sounds like it's working out for him. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We're, we're, Christina's not talking. She left the Hi, room. I just got back. Yeah. She had a finger herself. Yeah. <laughs> real quick. I had to I had to get it over with real quick. So, Sarah, you describe yourself as, as bisexual. I, I'm surprised that you do that. Do what? D that even say that. I would imagine that, that you'd keep that a secret. You know, I, it's funny. Like, uh... I didn't really start talking about it until um, about a couple of years ago, and I certainly I've never talked about it in front of my parents. I've never been with a woman, I but I know that I'm not straight, and I've known that since I was a really young girl. You've never been, well, that's not bisexual. That's, sure, it that's, is. How do you know that you're straight? Have you ever been with a man? No, but that's not the test of it. I'm not attracted to men. I'm I'm when I see a man. I don't have the same feelings for him sexually that I do for a woman, so that lets me know I'm straight. So you see a woman and you want to be with her, but you've never been with I'm her. I'm nervous woman. about it, that's why. Oh, it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be fun. And also, like what Jessica I said. would hold your hand while you did it. <laughs> I he would does never... that when people can't pee either. They're very yeah, lucky. I can do that. He's Both very sensitive. Those. I would never oh, yeah. want to be in a relationship with a woman because if I had to listen to someone like me all day, I would fucking jump off a roof so <laughs> yeah it's well you know what it's weird that you say you're bisexual and you've never been with a woman that's weird to, 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 I, mean, I don't think that's you, weird to put yourself out there and to 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 say something that you've never even done like i said i don't think that you have to do it to know it's just something that i just know hmm how come you don't go to a gay club and meet somebody, or why don't you go off? With I, I those have two? a lot of. I, I'm very involved in the LGBT community. I mean, I go to like LGBT events and stuff. Um, you see, that bores the shit out of me. Yeah. That fucking shit. To be honest, that's almost as boring as trying to fight cancer. There is something about people that have to fight every fucking disease and every fucking what? It's Jesus Christ. Well, that's a separate issue. Yeah, I'm sick. Because that money is going to like somebody's pocket that's not really doing. I it. can go to every lesbian, gay, whatever event, every one of them, and when I walk out of that room, I'm glad I'm a heterosexual. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> it's true. I think that most heterosexuals, it's like people walking out of a cancer fund. You're glad you don't have it. You walk out. It was a wow, we raised a lot of money and the whole thing, and I'm glad I'm not in that group tonight. Now, if you get in that group and you get cured or you're fighting it or whatever, okay, you're in there and you use all the services. As soon as the services and, and as soon as you're cured or whatever, 
I, you know, go back. I mean, um, yeah, that, that's that's. I mean, it's it's like um, if it's okay, why do you have to keep fighting for your position? I would love to know if any of your listeners are in the same like mindset of me as me. I'd like want to be with another uh, a person of the same sex. Bisexual, but are afraid a to man, do it. a man or a woman listening right now. But they wouldn't. They, they would admit. Yeah, they would have feelings, but I know that I'm not. I, what is it that's holding you back exactly? No, I'm just nervous. Nervous about what? I not know. liking it or like. I mean, because you know you're gonna like it. And just nervous, like you know. Were you nervous <laughs> before you lost your virginity? You know, with a guy. Oh, of course I was. Yeah, it's like the same thing. Well, I mean, kind of, but I was also 17. You know, you're a grown ass woman. Go out there. So and get no some woman cash. has ever has. You've never sat with a woman. I was who, like who... in love with a woman in college, and. She, it just never happened. And then after college, I was engaged to a man, and she finally, like, you know, said, "Hey, let's go to dinner." It was like, oh, well, it's too late now. Because so. you were engaged to a guy, you didn't have sex with a woman. Well, I was in a relationship. So, so what? You were just you were testing the you were going to masturbate with a friend. You weren't married yet. But that's cheating. God, that's not cheating. See, this is like the fundamental argument that I have with some people sometimes is that I think that, okay, so I'm in a relationship with a man. If I hook up with a woman, I'm cheating on that man just because it's, it's a only woman. cheating if you get caught. <laughs> so I'm it's sorry. Great sage advice, that is. It's the truth. It's all, you're only cheating on your income tax if you get caught. Garrett. You're, you're only you taking a bribe right. if you get caught. You're only cheating on your lover or spouse if you get caught. I mean, that's it. It's I only... feel it. I feel like a shit if I did that. Yeah, I had a girlfriend that uh, told me she kissed a girl one night when I wasn't there, and I w I was upset about it. I didn't it think hurts. I would be, but yeah, it was like, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. my thing. That's supposed to be, her, you know, you're not supposed to be sharing that with other people. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like all the sharing. You can be or have whatever um, desires you want. Uh, Gina, you're in Los Angeles, and and uh, you you have these. Um, uh, Deep-seated feelings that you have never what? Hi, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Have you have you decided not to um, you know uh, what? explore I'm them? Married. I'm married. I haven't told anybody that I feel like that towards women, but I completely agree with her. I I'm nervous basically because I don't want to cheat on my husband. But like when we get into it and we watch porn, I specifically want to watch just girl on girl porn, and he thinks I'm doing him a favor, but it's actually for me. And wow. I wouldn't mind being with a female. I just you know, I have I have kids. I, I take really good care of myself. I know I can get a female. I just I, I don't want to be put in that situation where I'm going to cheat on my husband. But when he's going down on me, I think of a girl. Are you bi? No, I've never been with a woman. So but I do you think I'm that bi you're bi? I just yeah, I do. I wouldn't mind being with a woman. But like you said, I want to just go meet a random person and they have an STD. And how am I going to explain that coming home? Well, yeah. your husband would probably um, go along with this. No, I don't think he would. I, I don't think he would because he's a square. He's really. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's what? A square. He's a, he's a square. He wouldn't be into that. Well, you watch porn, and, and it would just be like Mitch Fatel has really just bought, uh, brought, or bought, maybe bought. Uh, Mitch Fatel, in my opinion, has bought a live porn star. So that's what he's done. He's made his own porn star at his house. You can call a relationship if you want to, or whatever. I have kids. I have kids, Jay. You know, yeah. I, can't, I can't bring that home. Yeah, but don't go to your grave without having a woman go down on you. Good God what almighty. What was it that made you get married without, like, sowing your wild oats? <clears throat> I, I did not be sowing before I was married. It's a crazy oh, story. Oh, that's, that's a different a, story. Oh. That's a mm. horse of another before color, isn't it? I was married, you know, if it was before I was married, I would have definitely hooked up with one of my hot friends, but I didn't have those feelings. And there's nothing wrong with him in bed because, I'm being really honest, he's great in bed. It's just I think of being with another woman, and I would love to be with another woman. But I he, you know what? When you're watching porno, you should just say it in passing and say, you know, you have, but blame it on him. We've been watching this for so long that you've gotten me interested in in this. He's going to think I'm just high and drunk, and I'm not even. Well, then don't be those things when you yeah, bring it up. That's right. And then you can't be jealous when the other woman is introduced into the relationship. 
Yeah, but I kind of want a, a one-on-one thing. I don't want him around when I'm with him. Well, then don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. <laughs> I'd almost like to. You know what? You're 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 two hours from me. I feel like driving where you are, putting on a wig, holding my penis in between my legs, and pretending I'm the woman you've never been. With. <laughs> Jay, and I listen to you every single day. I drive for a living, so I, I'm really mm. glad you guys have to You see those arms? <laughs> okay, guys, have a good one. And I love Thank you. Good luck in your lesbian experiences. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Garrett, we moved to 102, and it's almost as if there's the the stench of Vivid is on us. Not the stench. The stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, the that's smell. that's right. This was... This yeah, way. it was. Sorry, I was in the hallway beating off. Because this isn't your yeah. typical next life. to me diddling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Mitch Fatel is so excited by it, and and that you get caught up in his excitement, and he likes talking about it. And so I'm a guy that once you start talking about something, I want to, I want to hear about it. He's literally stained your whole show now. Yeah, but but it's great and it's fine. It, it's not like we're going to talk about it tomorrow. Because I personally find bisexuals and people that are into, you know, all this wild sex and stuff, I find them boring <laughs> after you come. They're boring people. They're not anybody. That's all they seem to think See, about. But I think you're looking at it from the standpoint, like, all bisexuals <clears throat> are these crazy sexual people. I'm just like you. I like. No, no, like Mitch I'm talking about. Oh, okay. People like Mitch. I mean, it's his whole life, you know, and it's her whole life. It's like when somebody is madly in love with their wife and devoted to their children. I can't stand them either. Mm. I mean, I have a friend that I'm, I'm not friends with anymore. Every time we went to do something, he had to do something with his wife or his kids. It was like constant. And we were business partners and we had a great time. And I'm sure he enjoyed it. But he never really wanted to just, you know, and maybe it was me, but I don't think so. I really believe he liked doing all, and that's fine. And I, and, and I don't say, oh, I gotta do this stuff and it's a pain in the ass. No. But there are times when, you know, you, you just don't go do shit with your family and you hang out with your, your friends and that's fun. But I have people that just, they just can't, they can't stay away from their family and the wife, you know, and the, and you know, the whole deal, you know, it just, yeah, I don't. I don't like any kind of over devotion. That's atypical. I also don't like fan stuff. You know, it's like that's odd to me. And when I meet people that worship somebody or other, well, I live in this fucking crazy uh, world where they worship, you know, Howard or Tom Cruise. Or I don't. I mean, it's okay to like somebody, but so you had said that to me. You said, well, because I came up here for a contest with you know Howard in January, and because I came up to your show a couple. I find that odd. I find it. I just like listening to you guys, and I admire you. You know, on the radio, not like a crazy fan. I'm not like stalking you online or you know begging to take you know autographs or whatever. It's just Mm -hmm. I enjoy listening to your show. So no, and I take it as a great compliment. But I also listen to things, and I'm fan of a person, and I might go up and say hi, how are you, whatever. But um, who are you a fan of? Me personally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, <laughs> awkward silence. I've never heard you be like, "Oh, I love listening to this guy," or like you might drop. No, I've on never his... listened to the radio. No, I've never heard. Are there on any the radio. like people on TV shows that you watch that you haven't met that you'd like to meet? You know, I like John Stewart very much, but my wife is a super fan of his who goes to his concerts and follows him around. But when I'm watching John Stewart or listening to Howard or anybody else, all I'm thinking is I do this for a living. And if I'm in that same situation, I can think of the same things they do. So that's how I live. I mean, you know, it's like I think that we're all thinking of the same thing. Does that make sense? We do it for a living. If you want to say opium, uh, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to say, you know, most comics, you know, there are some, you know, who, you know who I like to listen to. Uh, what's his name? Gaffigan. Um, um, Jim Gaffigan. I like him. Right. He says stuff I couldn't think of. You know, um, like but there's certain... bit about hot pockets. <laughs> Everybody loves that bit, but he. <laughs> And he makes funny noises with his voice and all, right? Because I, I guess I listen to um, uh, the Comedy Simple Channel and, and to Raw Dog and all that more than more than anything else. Not many talk show hosts um, 
I can't hear my, I can't listen to a audio of myself. I find it horrifying. I find it horrible, boring, yeah, evil, stupid. Um, you know, um, I don't, you know, I, I watch Jimmy Fallon and I look at that and I think, you know, he's cute, I guess. I couldn't watch a talk show every, I watched Saturday Night Live the other night. I couldn't believe the lack of talent on that show. Oh God, it hasn't been good in like 10 or 15 years. I don't know if it's been that long, but I gotta tell you, it was bad. It's, I watch uh, TV shows, Garrett. I like there's certain TV when shows. When Louis like. C.K., I mean, I love Louis C.K. like to pieces. I don't like his show this year. Well, that's a separate issue. But when he's on Saturday Night Live, I cringe because it brings out his worst. I don't think that he shines through that, that show. He's too good for that show. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's hard. Comics have bits that you like. I like I like Louis Black very much, um, but you know. I only have seen two of his specials, so I like those two specials. So I don't know what he does all the time. I don't know. Um, what happened? He was like the hit five years ago. He was in all those commercials where he's on the mm -hmm. beach. And he still does them. He does? Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, I, I think he's still doing comedy, but he kind of maybe yeah, just he does. He still does took well. a step back just to relax. He, is he still on? Um, no, you know, um, no, I think he's on the road a lot. I think he's a political commentator comedian mm -hmm. kind of a guy but I mean, he has he his mom and dad show. who are in their 90s sit in the front row did you know that that's sweet huh. it's unbelievable his mom and dad are in their 90s sitting in the front row so i was in canada doing a television show called hoop life and i played the uh, owner of this uh, pro basketball team and dan loria um who was uh, from uh, the wonder years and did um um, Vince Lombardi on Broadway. Uh, he was, uh, the coach of the team. And, um, we had the guy from, um, Forrest Gump, uh, Michael T, whatever his, uh, left. And so it was a pretty good cast. It was, I ran for Showtime for two or three years and I was on the show. And, and Lewis Black played a wild, um, sports talk show guy. And it was an actress, but a woman played his daughter. And, and so, you know, I was on the set. Now, this is um, 10, 12 years ago, right? And so they go, we're going tonight to see Lewis do his stand-up. We're in Toronto. And I went, oh, the guy that plays the radio. And I'd never heard of him, ever. And we go to this club in Toronto, and it was Christmas time. I, I just, I never, th I never saw anything like it. He was unbelievable. And I had never heard of him. So he must have been known in New York for a long time. Um, so... Lewis really was banging around for like 30 years. And then what? Maybe in the last 10 he's been famous? Maybe? I don't know. But I think he's great. I love him. Um, let's go to Mike who's in Detroit. Yes, Mike, go ahead. Hey, Jay, no disrespect, but you're so full of shit. Mm -hmm. You were going on a while ago about how John Boyd and your Ray Donovan and Lyft driver. And then you got, you had the nerve to say, oh, you know, I hate when people worship other people. Don't get me wrong, I think it's full of shit anyways. But you're such a hypocrite. I mean, where do you get off? What do you mean? I said, I met John Voight. It's a, it's a big oh, deal. Oh, fact, we were blowing him on the radio. When did no, he say I that didn't. he worshipped Ray I, I said, I said, I was on a set, and I was excited to be at the studio, and there were all these cars from Masters of Sex, and, um... I was having a moment, and then John Voigt walks around the corner. It, look, asshole, I didn't, I, he's a great guy and all like that, but I was excited to be a schmuck like you in the middle of this Please. acting thing, and I just felt like, wow, this is, this is fun. It's fun to visit it. And that's all I was saying. Then you give this girl a hard time about coming up and seeing you. Why are you waiting He's your not time giving me a hard, hard time. No. Oh. You know what, asshole? Yeah, you're just, you know yeah, what, you're, you're looking to, to get into a conversation and you're picking the wrong shit. That's all. That's all. all. And you live in a dead city. No. You're in, you wake up, you're in a dead city, and so you want everybody else to be miserable, Mr. Dead City. They have the tigers. The tigers are in first place. Dead city. Only a lesbian would know the tigers are in first place. <laughs> what? Can you send me an autograph picture? I really like no. you. No, no. No, nope, I'm, I'm going to send you a picture of John Voigt. Send him a picture of the spots that you keep talking about. Right, I got to go. I got to go. My eight spots. <laughs> yeah. It makes my penis look like a like a garden snake with eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so like carrot top and freckles. Oh, man. Your arms redeemed you, Jay. 
because I was I was like grossed out by. Yeah, your they spot. did a really good job photoshopping. Yeah. That, that was not photoshopped. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Were you wearing? But I was wearing that Spanx I was, top. I was wearing a Spanx top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, um, this really is exciting and fun to me. Uh, these uh, these game uh, makers who make billions of dollars have been raping athletes and people for years. And and there's a big lawsuit here about um, people's images and stalkers and people taking you know photographs and videos. I think an entertainer's face. Is, uh, should be, is, is a copyrighted thing. And I don't think, uh, TMZ or any gossip, anybody ought to be able to use it without their permission. And I wish they'd pass a law to say that because we, we can't say people's last names on the radio because they might go, Oh, you said, you know, Joe Johnson and, uh, you know, you insulted me or whatever. Uh, basketball players, uh, and some football players have won these lawsuits against EA sports. Um, Manuel Noriega was a, d a dictator from Panama, and he was put in prison for like 20 years, and he got out, and um, they have put out, Garrett, Call of, Duty, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and they use Manuel Noriega's image and his name in the video. They made $1 billion in like two months. Yeah. He is suing them for 50 or $60 million, and I hope he wins that lawsuit. I hate that fucking company. I hate it. They've made money off the backs of others, and they don't need to have those. It'd be the same game if yeah, they yeah. used anybody's name, right? But, you know, in these games, they have all the leaders. Not Petraeus duty, is in but, it. General Petraeus is in it. Yeah, there's all these. You meet famous people from history, or if it's an older game, or, blah, blah, you know. Okay. Know how he could That's fine. If you, you, public, why not? Uh, what public figure? They're using him for entertainment. Yeah, I know that's true. They're taking General Petraeus and they're taking Manuel Noriega and they're using them for entertainment. And so they're making them into players in their multi billion dollar, you know, thing. And I think they're gonna lose again. You know. Yeah, I, I hope they lose. You could always it's like Woody Allen used to sue people that faked his voice in commercials. Remember that? They would have a they don't have sound alikes anymore. Yeah, I think yeah. Billy West used to do that that kind of stuff. So, and then the other thing is, Garrett, in sports. Speaking of uh, lesbians, I'm not sure. Hey, she is. I like baseball. That's a part, there are many straight girls that like baseball. So you know. Well, women like it because it's boring. No, see, you always say that baseball is boring, and this is like a fundamental like difference between. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it for you. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna do here it we go. You. I'm going to do it. Uh, so Chuck Terrell has come to the mound, Bill, and Chuck is going to throw a couple of warm-up pitches to get it in there. Hey, let me tell you that we're presented by Sirius XM. <laughs> Don't forget to listen to the new Jay Thomas show at 102. It just moved in there. Uh, Chuck's got another couple to go. Uh, here comes Hernandez. Hernandez is batting 327, and uh, he struck out the last time he faced Terrell. Uh, Terrell's taking a look inside. Um, Matson's uh, making a, and uh, they've called timeout. It's called timeout. Uh, the third baseman wants to come over and say something before uh, Chuck unleashes uh, what I believe will be a steaming fastball. What do you think, Bill? Well, when I was playing with him, I thought he was a great fastball uh, thrower, but I love when he, when he throws a breaking pitch and that Tommy John surgery. He's back on the mound, and here we go. And it's a call. Strike one right down the middle. I could listen to this for hours. Keep going. Yeah, that's boring to me. But, That's just fucking but when I boring. go, I you know I go to a lot of games. I sit there and I yeah. just kind of chill and relax. And you yeah, know. yeah, it's all about the experience for a live game. But I cannot but watch one on television. At home, I could sit at home and watch. A, uh, I know I watched the All Star game the other night. That was fun. I mean, that's a little different. But I I'm I love baseball. I love New York baseball. It's amazing. This is why you're attracted to women. You have uh, an inordinate amount of testosterone in you. <laughs> And you have How a does boring, that make me have testosterone? You have a boring man's love of baseball <laughs> inside of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garrett agrees. Yep. Yeah. You have a big penis? Mm -hmm. no. Oh, the biggest. You have no idea. <laughs> See? No it's spots. It's butthole right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. No spots. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, um, I don't understand why baseball is so popular, but I'm in the 
minority. And People I don't like, it. see, I don't like football. I don't understand it. My dad has, my dad's had season's Jets tickets forever. I know they're not the greatest <clears> team, but <throat> I just don't, like, that doesn't interest me. That bores me. And I know everyone else is, like, interested by that because it's fun and it's lively and exciting. If there, if there wasn't betting, NFL football would not be anywhere near as successful as I it is. I agree with you And 100%. they will not admit it, and they will not say that a team is favored by six points over someone else on these um, on these warm-up shows or whatever. Uh, do you think I care if Cleveland uh, beats Pittsburgh or whatever in October 25th? I could care less. <laughs> Uh, if I'm not betting the game, or unless the game is like roundly exciting, you know, I'm not going to watch that, you know, for a minute or so. Gary, do you like to just watch other teams? Don't you get bored with teams you don't care about if the game's not that good? Um, a little bit, but I, I definitely, I don't bet on football at all, and I watch most of the games. Like, like so, Denver, San Diego. Oof. Well, I'll I do. Know. I do like the the red zone, so they just get, yeah. Between games, you know, when whoever, I like that, yeah. So I, I like that. But even with all. baseball, like if there isn't a Mets or a Yankees game on, I'll watch whatever's on. I don't care. I like just like watching it. Attention, Christina. Attention, Christina. Yes, Jay Thomas. Rebecca. What's her name? R- R- Romanjim. Romaine. Rebecca yeah, whatever Romain. her name is. R O M I J J N. Romaine. She has a new reality show. Hmm called Skin Wars. Let's go around the horn. Skin Wars. Garrett, what is Skin Wars about? Skin Wars is about... New reality show. Come on. Making footballs. (laughs) Um, Sarah. Skin Wars. I don't think she has tattoos, so plastic surgery? Plastic surgery? Christina. Foreskin. (laughs) <laughs> She's promoting her new body painting reality show. Oh dear! Come on! Did now, you guys you, do body painting on the you Jay Thomas yeah. show on Howard One Hundred One? Yes, we did all that. You can't get Mitch Patel a show with his wife, but this one has a. <laughs> right. That's unbelievable. And you know what's sad? She's an attractive woman, but that is pretty much the bottom. I mean, she must not be working. Who is Christina, watching right? this? I don't know. I have no idea. Who pays idea. for this? I don't know what channel it's Pay on, but she was promoting Pay my student loans it. instead of paying for this shit. <laughs> Skin Wars. All right. Well, we'll do it again tomorrow, but we'll be on 101. It's been the Jay Thomas <laughs> Show and the inaugural 102. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll be there. We'll be around. Just listen for the static and the bisexuality. Uh, that's the, the Jay Thomas Show. All right. Uh, Sarah, uh, what grade do you teach over there Third at the school? Third grade. If they found out about this show, that'd be the end of that job. Oh, yep, 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 yep sure would. Yeah, you're a lip smacking good gal. All right, <laughs> see you later. Bye bye.